Rolling? <clears throat> Greetings! I am Lisbeth Megafig, intrepid explorer, seeker of the unknown, hunter of undiscovered creatures, and she's a real charmer. <laughs> Eggabel, stop. What? The people deserve to know. You're the only one who gets to know. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm Lisbeth, and I have made an incredible discovery here on Snaketooth Island. But this is more than a mere expedition. My followers and I have started building a new community here. Construction of our settlement is well underway. What draws us so far away from civilization? What discovery could tempt us to start a new life in the untamed wild? Bug snacks! They're the most delicious thing in the world. You haven't lived until you've tried one. <laughs> it's true. Half bug, half snack. There's nothing quite like them. There's one now. I got it. I got it. <sighs> Good effort, Bilbo. As for you, I'm sure you're wondering why I've sent you this film. I've read your work, The Shadow of Grumpfoot, the secret of Soylent Grump, stellar pieces of journalism. Like me, you have a passion for discovering unknown truths. And also like me, do you truly recognize your talent? You are just the Grumpus I need to share my story with the world. I've sent you a map to our settlement. Come to Snacktooth Island. Together, you and I will share the incredible tale of Buck Snacks. Wow, that's your new lead? Another monster hunt? Do you have any idea how much trouble you've caused me? I had to recall half a million papers and give a public apology. All because your Grumpfoot turned out to be a lost football mascot. We've been over this. It doesn't matter how eye-catching your articles are if I'm stuck cleaning up your sloppy work. You're already out of second chances. And now you're gonna follow Elizabeth to some grump forsaken island? Elizabeth Megafig is either a con artist or a lunatic! Remember that whole mess with Grumplantis? This bug snacks thing is just her latest delusion. Because I've got a working brain. Do your research. Ships go missing around there all the time. The place is like me before I get my coffee. Deadly. She got a little famous after stumbling across some forgotten civilization in Grumpsylvania. She's been coasting off that success ever since. This is absurd. Only a desperate loser would follow Lisbert. Well, it is a tantalizing story, if true. We'll just have to hear it from Lisbert herself. Say you get an interview with her and make it back alive. You just might keep your job. Now get going and try not to fall off a cliff or something. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> uh, Lisbeth, is that you? Oh, thank Grump you're alive. Too bad I'm dying though. <laughs> what? It's me, Philbo. I was looking for you, but uh, I got hungry and I'm catching bug snacks. What? That's a weird question, Lisbeth. Wait, you're not Lisbeth. Oh, Grump. It doesn't matter who you are. Please give me something to eat. There's a bug snack right over there. Should we get a good look at it? I know which one it is for me. <laughs> oh, oh, good. That that one's pretty easy to catch. Well, 
aren't me anyway. <laughs> okay, do me a favor and take my snack trap. Pretty neat, huh? It's a side effect of eating bug snacks. Anywho, I'm still recovering. I could use maybe three more bug snacks? I'm sure that scope of yours will come in handy. Skin and plan, I always say. Sorry, I was too busy dying to introduce myself. I'm Philbo Fiddlepie. I'm the, uh, mayor around here. Um, sorry if this is a stupid question, but, uh, what are you doing out here? Oh, you got the film! I helped Lisbert make that. I know who you are. You're the journalist! I knew it was stupid to ask. Lisbert said you'd be coming. Hmm, you're a bit late, though. Uh, still, it's my job to show you the way to town. Follow me. <laughs> hey, buddy. I have to tell you something. I'm supposed to take you home, but... Lisbert might not be there. I don't know where Lisbert is. I was out here looking for her. But who knows? Maybe she will be there when we get back. I'm sure she wouldn't want to miss her interview with you. Ready to go, buddy? All right. Through here. Yeah. Hey, Wimbus. How's the farm? <laughs> You're still alive? Thought you'd have starved to death by now. Nope. <laughs> I found a journalist. They're also pretty good at hunting bug snacks. I was gonna bring them back to Snacksburg. That's nice. Don't you wanna come with? No. Well, why not? I got my paws full with my ketchup crop. Without Lisbert around to catch bug snacks, I gotta keep us all fed. Uh, we can't just eat ketchup. Well, it's better than nothing. 
You want us to die out here? No, no, but, uh, but this garden is just so far away from everybody. Maybe you could start another one in town? Call this one quits? I don't quit. Now kindly leave and take a ketchup for the road. Bunger, 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 bunger. Ah! Whoa! Darn bunger! Get out of here! Ooh. Uh, stranger, I could use your help. This bunger goes wild for ketchup. There's a pen set up nearby. Take my soft slinger, gather up some ketchup, and use it to lead the bunger over yonder. Bunger, bunger, bunger. Thanks, stranger. We better go check on Philbo. sore, but uh, I'll be a-okay. <laughs> I'm just happy you're getting along with Wambus. He's having a hard time, and his wife isn't around much these days. So, uh, just see if you can help him out. I'll stay here until my brain stops hurting. I'm sorry, stranger. I didn't mean for Philbo to get hurt like that. He's right, though. I'm in over my head. I know farming would be easier back in town. And those shishka bugs and bungers keep harassing me. Well, I'll be cold and buried before those walking appetizers make me go home starving. Let's start with the fryer. Lure it down with ketchup, and then let me eat it. Bugs. Those pests are easy to spook, and they don't even like ketchup. Not sure why they bother with me. Figure out how to wrangle them, and I'll be set. Ah, that's good eating. All right, last bit of business. Let's get revenge on those bungers. They're too wily for your trap, but if you can get them all woozy and vulnerable, you can scoop them right up with this net. <laughs> bunger? Bunger, bunger, bunger. Bunger, bunger, bunger. 
dealt with for now, but they'll be back eventually. Well, I'm fixing to get my old garden growing again. Oh, you really mean it? Let's get moving right away. You know, you're a pretty good hunter. Like Philbo said, it's been rough since Lisbert vanished. Been rougher for some than others. Uh, hey, I sure could use help with this tree. Well, best not to dwell. Hold on, I got this. There we go. Y'all just get along now. I'll catch up. Hey there. Um, I'm like, oh my god, is this squeeb really talking to me right now? I'm not a squeeb. It says right here on my snack scope. Philbo, personality type, squeeb. Skills, none. Friends, none. It says that because you wrote that in yourself. It also says you're a terrible leader. I... you... Uh, uh. Like, are you still here? Zonk off, squeeb! O-M-G. You're that journalist. I haven't seen a new face in, like, forever. I'm Bethica Winklesnoot, and I know everything about everybody. I love your snack scope. You and me are totes twinsies. I bet you've seen lots of great stuff. Let me take a peek at your journal. You lost your journal? No big deal. You can borrow one of mine. I keep them in my cave. Bring it here. I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> Way to play fetch. Okay, now open it up. with the snack scope winds up in the journal. I have more for you to do, but Wambus is scaring all the snacks away. You'll have to come back later. Until then, you should get Philbo out of here. <sighs> Let's get this over with, buddy. Well, here we are. It's a regular old ghost town. I don't know what I expected. 
Without Lisbert around, nobody would want to come back here. Oh, it's not much, but it's still home. Let's get moving. I'm sorry. I guess you're not going to get that interview with Lisbert just yet. Really? Me? I mean, if you want to. Um, <laughs> ask away, I guess. I'm Philbo Fiddlepie. I guess I'm sort of like a deputy mayor. I don't know. I'm not good at most stuff, but I like to help out. Well, Lisbert asked me to tag along, so I dropped everything, and here I am. Oh, they're great. I mean, they taste good, and they make everybody happy, so what's not to love? Oh, Lisbert and me go way back. Lisbert was, is awesome. She always knew what to do, and she brought out the best in all of us. She'd lead me in charge of watching Snacksburg when she went out hunting. I mean, I wasn't really in charge. Nobody took me seriously. But as long as Lisbert came back with bug snacks, everything was fine. One day, Lisbert went out hunting and she didn't come back. I tried to step up and keep everybody calm. Well, technically, I was in charge, right? But. Oh, that didn't last long. There was a big fight, and then an earthquake, and then everybody decided they'd be better off alone. They couldn't even keep us together for one day. I honestly don't know what Lisbeth saw in me. Uh, sorry, buddy. I didn't want to bum you out. Lisbeth might be gone, but you're here now. Nobody will listen to me, but... But you? You're pretty good at stuff, and, well, nobody hates you yet. You can catch bug snacks and bring everybody back to Snacksburg. Once they're here, you can do some more interviews and figure out what happened to Lisbert. You should find Gramble on the beach. If we get his ranch going again, that'll be a big help. You could also go back and talk to Befica, I guess. Anyway, I'll be here if you need any advice. All right. Good luck, buddy. <laughs> Sure is a nice day, isn't it? An interview? All right, but keep it short. I got work to do. <laughs> Wambus Troubleham, farmer. To start a farm? Like I can afford that. Seems like you never had to pay property taxes. Oh, uh, what do I think about bug snacks? They're pesky, tasty, and confusing. Well, they ain't animals, and they ain't plants. No organs, no seeds, nothing. And you have to eat them raw, or they turn to mush. Now, I call that confusing. Well... 
When Lisbert vanished, I knew we needed a reliable food source. Without snacks, I figured I'd farm sauce as an alternative. Though we would have been fine on bug snacks if it weren't for Gramble. That weepy little rancher thinks all bug snacks are his pets. Philbo needs to shut his grumpin' mouth. Triffany is off somewhere poking at skeletons. It's none of my dang business. <sighs> well, when you've been married this long, the little spats just pile up. Doesn't take much to knock them all down. Uh, respectable type, Elizabeth. We'd trade sauce for snacks now and again. Or plants for Dr. Batternugget to fix his medicine. Oh, that's the town doctor. You know, Egabel, Liz's partner. I couldn't say. She was off hunting most of the time. Dangerous work. Could have slipped and fell. Could have got caught in an earthquake. Could have got thrown in a volcano. <laughs> Seems like a waste of your time. If you want answers, you need hard evidence. Here, I dug this up the other day. I'm thinking it might help you find Elizabeth. Now, back to work. Welcome back. Now that Philbo and Wambus are gone, there are way more snacks around here. Scan all the snacks here, fill up your journal, then we can swap deets. <laughs> but don't be surprised if they're not all out at the same time. Bug Snacks gotta sleep too. Oh, 
them all. I knew I picked the right Grumpus. Not that I'm surprised. After all, I've read all your articles. Even if I don't believe in the Grumpa Cabra or whatever, your interviews were always on point. Good picks, too. You've got a way of digging up the truth out of the lies. But enough about you. Let's talk Bethica. I want you to use that journalistic instinct to find out what my favorite bug snack is. And feed it to me, Obs. Ah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good answer. You really get me. I know you're just doing this stuff for me because you want me back in Snacksburg, but I don't mind. If you really want to be besties with me, I want some dirt. Wambus X totally mysterious before he goes to bed around 10 every night. I want you to find out what he's up to. And tell me, if you don't want to wait around, you can always just take a nap until it's time. <laughs> oh, wow. How'd the ship get here? Oh, there's a balloon? Huh. You know, it, it looks just a little bit, um, exploded, but I'm sure we can patch that up, eventually. 
Oh, it's yours? Well, you travel in style, buddy. <laughs> well, if you don't mind, I'd love to fly it someday. Evening. Howdy, stranger. I could use your help with something. See, nobody's figured out how bug snacks reproduce, but I got an idea. I think I might be able to garden them, grow them in the dirt, like plants. Well, half of them look like fruit, but I reckon there's more to it than that. I've seen bug snacks crawl out of the dirt that weren't there before, fresh and gooey like. Seems promising to me. All I need to start off is a root and a fruit. Should be simple enough. <laughs> well, thank you kindly. I'll get those bug snacks growing. You'll see. Yeah, farming didn't go so well today. Soil's depleted, but I won't give up yet. I wonder how your day is going. Oh, Triffy, I miss you so much. I would hug your cactus facsimile, but it would only hurt me further. Wambus has a fake cactus wife? Like he wasn't prickly enough already. 10 out of 10 perf dirt. Uh, Snacksburg sounds way more fun than sitting around in this cave. I thought it'd be relaxing, but it's totes boring. Plus, I don't know nearly enough about you yet. I'm just itching to dig up more dirt. See you around town. Bestie. Thought you'd never ask. OMG, I have so many hot takes. <laughs> I'm Bethica Winklesnew, and I basically do whatever I want. <laughs> Let's just say I'm an information specialist. I'm here on vacay. Uh, unrelated fun fact, did you know that no international laws apply out here? I'm just saying, if you got in trouble, like a lot of trouble, and all your friends turned against you, this would be a great place to hide out forever. Oh, they're so cute, I could literally eat them up. And I do! Ugh, there's drama, and then there's drama! We have too many Geminis around here, and I'm done getting caught up in social dumpster fires. Oh, hey! My cave was sweet! Plus, it was close enough to Wambus that I could swipe some sauce when I needed to. Promdo. That greedy little squeeb started looting the second Liz was gone. Then, he tried to sell me her projector. 
So I, like, posted pics of all his little crimes, and then I got out of there before he could get back at me. What don't I know about Lizbert? Wink. Uh, Liz is smart and fearless, and she can see the talent in all of us. It's impossible not to look up to her. She's practically invincible. But she does have one weakness. Agabelle. Liz would go to the end of the world and back to make her happy. And if I've learned anything in life, it's that you can't let your happiness depend on somebody else. Liz and Agabelle got in a big argument before Liz went hunting. I haven't seen either of them since. If I'm being optimistic, maybe they're on a romantic getaway sorting it out together? No prob. I'm just happy to see your interview skills in action. Oh, and before you go, I think you should take this. It's the key to Liz's cabinet. The stuff in there is really personal, but finding her is more important than keeping all her secrets. <laughs> Sorry, interview's over. Don't let me down, bestie. Snacksburg is inhabited again. A surprising discovery. You. You are the ignoble journalist. Despite your lack of any and all useful skills, I require your assistance. As is extracting feces from the latrine. Now, my experiments were halted with the unfortunate disappearance of Agabel. Since the settlement's dissolution, finding new subjects has been vexing. A bit of... Gastronomic biochemistry. Never mind the details. Silence yourself and listen. You've likely witnessed grumpus limbs transforming into bug snacks. I call this process snackification. Under normal circumstances, this occurs at random. However, I have developed a method to direct the effect to specific limbs. It's simple once you understand the internal mechanisms behind the molecular dissemination of snack particles. <sighs> This is the Snacktivator. Feed me Strabby. Poke Snacktivator in foot. Foot turns into Strabby. Understand? Ow. Intriguing. Very good. I will allow you to field test the Snacktivator for the time being. I, meanwhile, have some very interesting plans for my leg. I look forward to working with you further. nice and all, but you're scaring the little ones. Oh, sorry, Gramble. Inspiration is so hard to find. I just have to sing wherever it strikes me. Well, uh, maybe it could strike you over there. Oh, but I'd hate to go alone. Won't you join me for a long walk on the beach? Like a date? Of course, darling. 
It would just be you, me, and your delectable strabbies. Singing the night away until we drift off to sleep. No! Uh, sorry. Every time I go to sleep around you, my snacks just up and vanish. So no to all that. But the date's still a maybe. Oh, very well. I will go and seek my inspiration alone. Ta, my dear. Oh, calm down, little ones. Wiggle means well. She just don't understand you like I do. Who are you? I haven't seen you around here before. If you're looking for bug snacks, you best turn back. These little ones are my kin. Well, that's a relief. Sorry to be short with you. I haven't slept much lately. I'm Gramble Giggle Funny. I'm an aspiring bug snacks breeder. I'm not too keen on going to town, but I'm running out of room down here. I want to get back to my barn. Trouble is, some of my snacks went missing. I'm not going back till they're all home. If you want to help me, then I got a friend to introduce you to. Follow me. <laughs> See that Strabby? That there's Sprout. I've been training him to follow my pointer in his buggy ball. We were in the middle of training. See if you can guide Sprout back here to us. <laughs> He likes you! Sprout's always been a good judge of character. Sprout loves adventure. Always got along well with Lizbert, too. Anyway, I'm missing my three peel bugs. They like to hide out inside little holes around the beach. Please find them. Those little cuties must be so scared without me. Hi, darling. Welcome to Wiggle Wiggle Bottom's steamy walking tour. Lucky you, you get an autograph. Oh, I can see you're utterly starstruck. Don't fret, darling. I always have time for my fans. <gasps> you want me to come back to town? Darling, it will have to wait. I simply cannot rest until I find my muse. And by muse, I mean bug snacks. Change starts from the outside in, darling. If I want new ideas, I need a new look. Hmm, how about a wild new hairdo? Get me a pineantula and we'll see what we can do. <laughs> We 
real good. They don't even want to unroll. They don't like being in your trap much. I still got two Queebles missing, but I want you to bring them to me without catching them in your trap. Lucky you got Sprout to help out. Smother him in chocolate and those Queebles will follow him till the end of time. <laughs> Accord. With a new head, I can think new thoughts. That's the magic of bug snacks. Now my creative juices can flow. Mm, I know I'm flowing. I'm flowing. This flow is more of a dribble. I need you to turn it up, darling. Find me a grape skeeter. They're too fast for Grambler or I to catch, but maybe you can find a way to slow them down. I missed you so much. back to the ranch. Thanks for all your help. I want you to take Sprout with you. He's always wanted a life of adventure. I'm just holding him back. Sprout, your papa's got a job to do. All your friends are going to a new home. You're going with this nice grumpus right here. I'll miss you something fierce, but it's okay. You can come see papa anytime. You take care of Sprout, or else.
look fabulous. The colors are striking, no? And now the ideas will flow. Mm -hmm, they're going to flow. Ooh, any second now, come on now. Uh, I assure you. Uh, oh, who am I kidding? I have nothing. There simply isn't a snack on this beach that can give me the inspiration that I need. Which is why you should look in the desert. I need a look that pops, a look that's hot. Darling, I would be so delighted if you could go to the Scorched Gorge and catch two pop ticks. <laughs> Hey there, Another how's it going? fine day behind us. Well, well, well. Look what the snack dragged in. Oh, I wouldn't have come back if I knew you were here. That's so. Well, I ain't about to leave now. Oh, yeah? Me neither. Then I reckon we're neighbors again. Howdy, neighbor. I got my eye on you, Wambus Trouble Ham. You best keep your eyes on your snacks. Seems like they're getting away from you. Oh, Charlie, where'd you run off to? I've uh, never done an interview before. Um, how's it work? <laughs> uh, Gramble Giggle Funny. I look after all the bug snacks in town and make sure they don't wander off. I heard Lizbert was gathering up some grumps to be part of her new family, and I thought I could really use one of those. I did, but then they... Uh, can we talk about something else? Well, they're just the cutest little things, aren't they? I don't understand how anybody could look into their googly little eyes and want to eat them. Uh, um... Well, they don't eat none of mine, and that's what counts. Without Liz to bring in snacks, everybody got mighty hungry. They done treated my barn like a grocery store. I held them off for a while, but I should have known Wambus never quits. <sighs> the next night, I woke up to him throwing my snacks into a sack. I panicked, and I let the rest go free. Broke my heart, but it's better than them getting eaten. I left that night for the beach and started rebuilding my family. Hmm, maybe. Wiggles a lot, but she's got a good heart. If she really likes me, she'll learn to love bug snacks the way I do. Lisbert? She'd bring me lots of new friends to take care of. Sometimes we'd work together training my little ones. Sometimes she'd ask for one and I'd have to say goodbye. I like to think they're all like Sprout, helping out like little sidekicks. But sometimes she didn't get enough on the hunt. And she always liked to bring something back for Agabelle. Hmm, can we talk about something else? Sometimes I wake up at night and I'm out of bed, lost in the woods. I think I see Lizbert out there. Watching me like a vengeful spirit. Uh, can, can we talk about something else? Oh, I don't think I like interviews very much. Here, Lizbert dropped this in my barn back when. I never got around to giving it back. I don't know what it's for, but you can have it if you promise never to interview me again. I 
I suppose so. Even though we're home, the little ones are still restless. I think they might be getting lonely. After all, the barn used to be chock full of bug snacks. I'd be real grateful if you'd donate a few more bug snacks to my barn. Maybe a half dozen or so? Hey, hey! Thank you so much. 
Hopefully my little ones will settle down. Maybe I can even start training them again. You're really doing it. You're bringing everybody back. You even got Befika here. She's awful. You know what we should do? We should throw a welcome back party. Well, howdy, stranger. Seems you're getting along just fine. Farm's doing okay on my end. Shindigs like this don't sit right with me. Feels like I should be getting work done. Welcome to the party, Wambone. We are not friends. Oh, hey, you remember Charlie? How's my little sprout doing? He miss his papa? Oh, of course he does. Maybe you should let me watch him for a few days. Oh, maybe even a week or a year or two. Granville, welcome back. How's the barn? Well, it's good and locked. Uh, great. <laughs> it's, it's good to be secure. What happened to the snacks you were babysitting for me? Great catching up with you, buddy. Hey there, bestie. Good to see you. Finally, somebody worth talking to. Living here is better than that cave, but it's still pretty dull. Like, where's the drama at? Thanks for coming to the party, Beth. I, like, live here now? You started a party around me. Well, I'll take what I can get. <laughs> How's the bug juice? Isn't this just water? Well, uh, it, it's bug-infused. So, it's about as strong as you? <laughs> I give this party a two out of ten. Uh... Come on, everybody! It's a party! Woo! Drink, mingle, get wild! Be Befica, doesn't this music make you just want to dance? With you? As if. My new bestie's the only reason I'm here. Wambus, Gramble, you two probably have loads to talk about. I got nothing to say to a guy like Wambus. That's so. I got plenty to say to you. Oh, yeah? Well, go on and say it. It's your fault we're in this mess. If you'd have let us eat your precious livestock, we could have kept together. They weren't livestock. They were my little ones, my kin. You lied and stole them away because you can't grow food for yourself. You think these walking vegetables are your family? I got news for you, Gramble. Bug snacks will never love you. You don't know a thing about love. That's why your wife left you. I'm gonna do violence to you. <laughs> hey, let's let's all take a breath here and Don't act like you're in charge. If you had the spine to lead us, everybody would still be here. Don't you mean Triffany would still be here? Fine! All y'all gang up on me! And don't make me wrong! You all want Triffany back so bad? Go find her yourself! Well, that wasn't ideal. But maybe after a few dozen more parties, we'll all be friends again. Uh, either way, thanks for being here, buddy. Oh, hey, I just realized you haven't had any bug snacks yet. Oh, you must be starving. Well, here, have a strabby on me. Maybe we can end this night on a high note. That's the spirit. Strabby. Ow. Uh, are, are you okay? Oh gosh, I'm so sorry, buddy. I uh, guess you're allergic to bug snacks? Didn't see that coming. <laughs> All right, as long as you're fine, I'll, um, I'll get out of your hair.
Hello, friend. Welcome. Come on over. Take a look. I assure you, you won't be disappointed. <laughs> the name's Cromdo Face, the one and only salesman in paradise. Friend, have I got a bridge to sell you. Beautiful, isn't it? Hardwood? New construction, eh? Huh? Oh, baby, what a bridge. All yours for just 100 bunk snacks. What do you say? Whoa, 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 whoa. Can't afford it? No problem. I got a specialty item just for you. Cheap is free. Follow me, pal. Feast your eyes on this beautiful lunch pad. Totally for sale and not at all stolen. You're itching to try it out, I can tell. Uh, my windmills over there got stuck. Why don't you, why don't you take it for a spin and knock them into shape? <laughs> Sweaty breeze. Hup, now it's time to pay up. What? You used it, you bought it. There's no such thing as a free lunch. Pad. Eh, you could pay me three of those cheap hoofs. They think they're so great. Flying around. Let's see how they like flying into my mouth. Oh. 
Yeah. Okay, okay. I know you're just itching to get your paws on that bridge. So, I'll cut you a deal, friend. I want a freighter, but it's on this ridiculously tall rock, and it wasn't exactly blessed with stilts for legs. <laughs> hubba, hubba. Pleasure doing business with you. Hey, you're my best and only customer. I'm starting to think I should get a better location back in Snacksburg. But uh, moving all this inventory across the desert is real sweaty work. I'll need a way to keep cool. If you make both my feet into big bopsicles, uh, then walking the hot sands would be a breeze. But I gotta warn you, you won't find bopsicles in the desert. Better look elsewhere, pal. <laughs> I didn't notice you there. Hi, how are ya? I'm Triffany Ladablog. You caught me doing some archaeology. Try not to step on the skulls, ya? Yeah? You want me to come back to Snacksburg? Gosh, look around ya. There's a whole civilization buried here, and I barely dug one hole. But I could use a trip to the old research tent once I get a few samples. See these skeletons? Something's fossilized in their stomachs. Looks a bit like a local bug snack. I'll need some live ribblepeeds. If you wouldn't mind, could you help me find some? They like to hide on the walls in these here ruins. <laughs> Like they have bones. They're squishy all the way through. So what did these fellas eat then? Well, like Grandma always said, if you want answers, dig through their sock drawer. I want to get into that dwelling over there, but the door's blocked up. If you could do something to get that door open, that'd be real swell. <laughs> oh, you're too kind. Meet me inside. Check 
Get out! These murals are still preserved. As far as I know, we were the first grumps to settle this island. But here we got a thousand years of history unaccounted for. Generations of grumpuses who hunted and ate bug snacks. Just a cosmic reminder that nothing really lasts, eh? Hmm, what's this? Looks like there's a hidden chamber somewhere in the canyon. Could that be where they stored bug snacks? Would you mind finding that chamber? And if there's bug snacks there, please bring them to me. Have a good one. How long those snacks were in there? Did you find anything else in the chamber? Hmm, that's a little intense for an ancient storage shed. You know, that just might have been a burial chamber. But if that's where they put their dead, why are all these bones out in the open? Hmm, well I gotta solve this mystery. Sorry, but I won't be going back to Snacksburg. If Wambus wants me back, well, he can come out here and tell me himself. <sighs> you might have heard things haven't been too good between us. I keep telling myself I'll get around to C&M, but it's just easier to uh, stay out here with the bones. You got a point there. If I happen to see Wambus while I'm working, maybe we can catch up. I thought maybe time would help. But time's just pushing me closer to the grave, and I'm not feeling any better. I suppose I could try being among the living for a while. You're back. Oh, had to come by and pick up supplies. Is that a new garden you got there? Yep. Are you going to stay for long? Well, that depends. There any reason for me to stick around? Man, Trivi, I'm sorry. I've been a dang fool. Yep. It's just I can't grow much out in that desert. Yeah. And you got a lot of growing to do. <laughs> I wasn't going to give up my dig site either. We may have different goals sometimes, and we may not be in the same place. But that doesn't mean we're not together. I guess I could leave my farm every now and again and come see your dig site. Uh, maybe even lend a helping paw. You better. Now give me a kiss, you hot dish. Gladly. Mm. Welcome home, Triffy. I just hope the cactus doesn't get jealous. What's it now? Nothing.
How's it going? Hey, buddy. I got something to show you. Follow me. <clears throat> Ta-da! It's your very own mailbox! Lisbert was gone most of the time, so if any of us wanted to get in touch or give her something that wasn't too important, we'd just leave it in here. And since you've kind of taken over Liz's job, I'm sure we can do the same with you. Beats waking us up in the middle of the night, right? <laughs> oh, and what's this? I think you might have a letter right now. Go ahead and check. Dear Buddy, that's you. Thanks for walking me back home, and also for saving me from the brink of starvation. I figure since you'll be staying in Snacksburg for a while, you might need some basics. Here's a care package with everything I could scrape together. I hope you find yourself at home soon. Best wishes, XOXO, Mayor Bilbo Fiddlepie. That's me. Well, what do you think? Oh, sorry. I, I just thought it'd be more fun if I read it out loud. But, um, I guess that defeats the point of leaving a letter. Huh. Great question, buddy. And that leads me to part two of Operation Gift Buddies. This way! I was thinking you could keep all your new gifts in your very own hut. I know it's kind of a fixer-upper right now, but hey, at least it's open plan, right? <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, uh, this hut really was meant for you, and I know we're gonna finish it someday. So keep checking your mail, do some redecorating, and before you know it, this'll feel like home. All right. Oh, yeah.
Hello. Another fun. Hey. And I don't have a single new tune in my head. What a woeful journey I've taken. <laughs> Darling, I apologize for putting you through such an ordeal. It was all for the sake of art. And art is priceless. I can see that this simply isn't working, and I believe I know it. Oh, not nearly enough. Though it pains me to return without a new single, I shall face the music and greet my adoring fans. Aloha, darling. Everything good?
bongo 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 Thank you. 
Boom. 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 Scramble, dear. Are you free for a little stargazing tonight? Uh, sorry. I can't. I gotta watch my little ones. <sighs> of course you do. Come on, Gramble. Surely you can take a night off. Nobody's desperate enough to steal from you. Anymore? Maybe. But even still, my kin might wander off if I'm not here. Oh, <laughs> It's only natural, dear. I'm sure they long to return to the wild. Uh, don't say that. This is their home. They, they love it here. They just get lost sometimes is all. Ugh, whatever you say, darling. Let me know if you're ever free. Hello? I'm locked up for the night. Maybe come back tomorrow. How's it going? Take care. Oh, hey, buddy. I'm glad you're here. 
Uh, I I've been talking to the other Grumpuses, and, uh, I think they could use your help. Not just with chores and stuff, but, you know, uh, personal issues. Uh, it can be hard dealing with your problems alone, you know? It won't get you closer to Lisbert, but it'd mean a lot if you could help the others. Sounds like a real hoot. <laughs> oh, I go digging up bits of history and try to piece them back together. It's usually not so dramatic. Just an old coin or a severed toe under a rock. But this island's chock full of finds. Oh goodness, my name! I'm Triffany Lottablog. I heard about the trip to Snack Tooth and thought, well, I could keep scraping at odds and ends till the day I die. Or I could really get out there, try following in Grandma's footsteps. You might have heard of Bronica, Lotta Blog, an adventuring type just like Lisbert. She filled up our old house with relics and sketches, taught me to love history, bless her heart. Amazing, don't you think? We got paintings of bug snacks from a thousand years ago. Grumpus civilization rises, collapses, and turns to dust. But the bug snacks, they always stay. They are walking records of history. It's less I left and more I stopped coming back. I wasn't even there when the fight broke out. Imagine me coming home to find Wambus all red in the face and at Gramble's throat. No, no, nothing so simple as that. I wanted him to come with me to the ruins, honest. But he wouldn't give up his farm, not even for me. <laughs> Stubborn fool. Lovely gal, that Lisbert. Wasn't often we'd both be in town at the same time. And when we were, we'd usually be in the medical tent, getting treated by Agabelle. We'd swap stories about what we found and show off our grisliest scars. Adventuring is a dangerous business. Archaeology less so. But the Lottablog method can be unconventional. Bug the heck out of Agabelle. She never liked to see anyone hurt. Least of all, Liz. You know, out here, it's only a matter of time before you fall in a hole or get wedged in a crevice. Especially with all these earthquakes shifting the geography around. Not to be morbid, but it could be a thousand years before somebody finds where Lisbert wound up. Oh, you're too kind. I'm just happy to chip in and solve a mystery or two. Speaking of mysteries... You betcha! Lisbert stashed a journal in the ruins for safekeeping. I can't get it open without damaging whatever's inside. I'm thinking you might have better luck with it. Anywho, I've nearly talked your ear off. 
Better get back to work, eh? Stranger to interviews, darling. Hit me with your best shot. You've certainly heard my number one single, Do the Wiggle. You see, Wiggle Wigglebottom needs no introduction, darling. Well, I'm here to gorge myself on a new life experience. To get my creative juices flowing, as it were. Oh, well, you know, no hit can stay on top forever. And I'm afraid the audience didn't care for Wiggle's World or Wiggle Baby one more time. And I've been accused of being a one-hit Wiggle. Every taste is like a star going supernova inside my mouth. Creative energy like I've never felt before. Bug snacks are worth whatever price I have to pay, darling. Bug snacks are forbidden fruits, darling. I believe something exists to keep us from them. She will come for me one day, but not before I dazzle the world once more. That's simple. I was following Gramble. He certainly knows his way around snacks. No! Goodness, no! I love Gramble. I would never. He's far too sweet. Like a little strabby. No, I would never take advantage of him, no matter how easy it would be. Ah, Lisbert. She and Egabel were big fans of mine. You know, I met them backstage at my first farewell tour. They didn't have passes, mind you. Liz climbed in through the air ducts. But if somebody breaks the law out of love for my music, who am I to turn them away? Not nearly as often as I'd like. <gasps> that night, when Liz went missing, I ran into the woods looking for her. But instead, I found something terrifying towering over the trees. The queen of bug snacks. Her screech was deafening, and I ran for my life. Well, I can't be sure. All I saw was a menacing silhouette. But if Liz cross paths with that, that thing, then I fear for her. Ah, I feel the warm glow of free publicity. <laughs> I know my story about the Queen sounds far-fetched, but I swear on my platinum record it's true. If you don't believe me, go and see for yourself. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got music to make.
into the studio two hours late. I hadn't slept in five days, and I was holding a banjo for some reason. I couldn't remember my own name, much less what I was going to sing. So in my haze, I just made it up on the spot. Two weeks later, I had a platinum record, and apparently I'd invented banjo pop. Needless to say, it's been a hard act to follow.
Another fine day behind. Oh, bestie! I was just looking for you. Now that Wiggle's back, Snacksburg is finally interesting again. I'm in the mood for some snacking and snooping. But like, everybody here gets all quiet when I'm around. But they trust you, right, bestie? So here's what I'm thinking. You dig up dirt on Wiggle and share it with me. And maybe I'll tell you something good in return.
Oh, hi there. Africa. How's it going? How you doing? Hi. Come on, Queeble. Don't be shy. Come on, come on. We go need some midnight snack. Uh, darling, what are you doing here? Uh, well, I'm just looking to spend some time with Gramble. Alone. Hi. OMG. Sounds like Wiggle has a nasty habit. Uh, I feel bad for Gramble. Those two just aren't gonna last. In my old life, I would have killed to get dirt on Wiggle Wiggle Bottom. Uh, I used to take pictures for GMZ, you know. And whoever else might be buying. Oh, right. I almost forgot about that. It's easy to get caught up in nostalgia. Have you found any snack pods yet? They're the best snack ever because they don't even move. But they're a little hard to find if you aren't observant like me. There might be some hiding by my old cave. And I know a certain Grumpus who might want some. I miss that cave, but I do miss these. Thanks, bestie. <sighs> How's it going? Snacksburg is looking pretty busy tonight. Seems like a great time to gather everybody around the old campfire. Oh, nothing like a campfire, eh, buddies? Beat sitting in the dark. I tell you, there's some spooky stuff out there. <laughs> there ain't nothing out there. Just bug snacks and trees. You're just yellow. I'm not yellow. I'm pink. There's really something stalking me, watching me from the shadows. Keeps me up at night. I've seen something similar up on top of the canyon. Real curious. Probably just a wild animal. Darling, there are no animals here. None but we, that is. I, uh, I too saw the thing. 
can we talk about something else? You know, the desert grumps, they had some odd rituals. They take their old and dying and seal them in secret caves. <gasps> Whatever for? Were the dead going to rise from the grave? No, not as such. It's more the bodies would just disappear. What? How? The writing's kind of vague, sadly. All I know is they had a rash of vanishing corpses. Long as they were exposed, well, heck, even if they buried them in the sand, the body wouldn't be there the next day. Though some of the time, there'd be a little left. Just a few bones. I'm getting a chill just thinking about it. You're getting a chill because the fire's gone out. Oh, you're right. Uh, hey, buddy, would you mind picking up some firewood? It's over by the mill. <laughs> okay, where were we? Um, Triffany, you were saying something about the zombies? No, no zombies. Listen, spooky as the disappearing stiffs may be, that's just a story I read on a wall. We got nothing to fear from the dead. I'm more worried about the living. The living? Obviously, we're not the first Grumpuses to make it to Snacktooth. So what makes us think all the others are dead? I've seen those chewed up skeletons around the island. We all know something kills Grumpuses out there, and it has teeth. Bug snacks don't have teeth. And like Wiggle said, there aren't animals out here, other than us. She's not wrong about the bones. Ah, 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 time out. I gotta use a little grump drum. Now hold on. You saying grumpuses turn cannibal? That's ridiculous. We ain't got the stomachs for it. Floofty eats grumpus. Ah, no way that's true. Oh, it's true. Late one night, I saw Floofty dragging something along the beach. When I got closer, I saw what it was. A severed leg. And as I watched, they held it up to their mouth. And then, they took a bite out of it. Uh, don't mess with my head, Beth. You're gonna scare me snackless. Ah! Dog Grump! Is somebody gonna check on Philbo? <laughs> Uh, sorry, I, uh, I got a little too spooked, and I came here to calm down. Huh? I, I don't know what you're talking about, buddy. Are you feeling okay? You look like you've seen a ghost. <laughs> <clears throat> well, uh, let's keep it together and get back to the fire. Sorry about that. What a mess. Can we just quit it with the spooky stuff? I don't think I could get any sleep. Darling, calm yourself. For I know what lurks in the shadows. It's the queen of bug snacks. A bug snack bigger than any we've ever seen. She conducts this delicious orchestra, bringing music to our mouths. And once we're dancing to her tune, she got 
troubles us up? That's precisely right, darling. This story makes no sense. Why would Bug Snacks have a monarchy? Oh, Wambus, it's just a title. I've seen Bug Snacks big enough to eclipse the moon. What else would you call that? Um, a hallucination? Believe what you will, Wambus. For I know what I've seen. Regardless of what sort of monster you believe in, something is lurking out there. And it's only a matter of time before it comes for us. Grumpin' Snacks, it's coming for us. I said she's coming for us! Yeah, yeah, she's gonna get us, oh! Well, no need to freak out. It's probably just, a uh, uh, something safe. I'm freaking out, Wambus! I'm not getting eaten by some monster or floofty just because you won't admit you're scared. Don't worry, Gramble. We'll go check it out. If something goes wrong, sacrifice Philbo first. <laughs> Chandlo? Whoa, it's Philbo. And somebody new? Hey, how are you? Doing better these days, yeah? Uh, Snacksburg is coming back together. I noticed. I saw the fire and I thought, whoa, Snacksburg's on fire. So I came down here to check on it. Then I remembered I left some stuff at the mill, so here I am. Is Shelda around? Oh, no. Nobody's seen Shelda since the, uh, the, the fight. Major bummer, bro. I could use her wisdom right now. Anyway, can't stay and hang. I gotta get all this stuff back to Snorpy right away. You know how he gets. Don't you at least want to say hi to everybody? Ah, uh, if I do that, they're gonna want me to stay. Catch you later, bros! But, but I do want you to stay. Oh, darn it. Oh well, let's get back and tell the others. Don't worry, folks. I'm fine. <laughs> um, oh, and, and the noise was just Chandler. Oh, that's a relief. So that settles it. Things are good and safe and boring. But wait, what if Chandla was the queen of bug snacks? Oh, please, that brute doesn't have the grace required for royalty. Yeah, if anybody's queen around here, it's me. You know, the desert grumps had a history of matriarchal leadership. Real fascinating system they had. Every year, the ladies would go hunting, and the one to bring home the biggest bug snack was the new head honcho. Hello, Tiffany. Doing good? Oh, 
Snorpy? Snorpy! Bro, Snorpy, get out here! I'm sorry, Chandler, I'm not coming outside. I'm this close to finishing my next invention. Return to your lifting in peace. Snorpy, we talked about this, bro. You gotta go outside at least one hour a day. Gotta get some fresh air, dog. Yes, what I'll get is the attention of the Grumpernati. Who? There's nobody out here but us, bro. Better to work in the shadows where I cannot be seen. Also, it's cold out there. Bro, if you're not coming outside, I'm bringing the outside to you! No, what? You cannot lift my entire house! Oh, yes I can! I'ma lift your crib, dog! Do not lift my crib, Chandlow. I have delicate instruments in here and... Lift in your crib, dog! There, I'm out in the fresh air. And I can smell the chemtrails. <sighs> That's right, bro. One step at a time. Whoa, it's you again. How's that sweet mountain air treating you, bro? It's easy to stay swole in paradise. Easy for me, anyway. I'm Chandlo Funk Bun. With wisdom and lifting, <laughs> I got the full package. You feel me? Nah, I'm good. I mean, I like being in town, but it gives Snorpy mad anxiety. Why don't you talk to him? He's not good with strangers, so... Tell him I sent you. <laughs> oh, he did, did he? My poor sweet Chandlo has always been too trusting. What is your business with me? Hmm. I'm not disinterested, but you're still a suspicious individual. I propose a test. Here, take my newest invention, the Snack Grappler. I built it so that I could help Chandler with his basketballing problem. But I forgot that meant going outside, so you do it, and then maybe we'll talk. Nice, dog. I knew he'd warm up to you. All right, follow me. Check it out. My own personal dunk zone. Problem is, I lost my balls. They're stuck all over the place. I'm sure I could get them down without your help, but... Snorpy made that grapple thing for me and I want to see it in action. my balls back that grapple thing is awesome i bet it can grab all kinds of stuff snorpy's a genius bro check it out there's a cine snail right over there i know it looks like a sticky dump truck full of carbs but it's actually a master climber even i can't keep up with it i always wanted to climb like that hey 
See if you can catch me that sin of snail, bro. stronger already. Watch me vert climb right out of here. Race you back to the cabin. Nice, you made it! You got back pretty fast for a newbie. Me, I got the same time I always get. I guess one bug snack isn't enough to push my limits. There's gotta be more sinna snails around this mountain, dog. Bro. Whoa! That's what I'm talking about. I can't wait to check my gains. But before that, I got a situation. Honeybees flew off with my backup balls. Now my balls are up in the sky. No matter how shredded I get, I can't fly. Believe me, I've tried. You gotta be my wings, dog. Master that grabber. Catch me those honeybees. <laughs> Oh, bro. 
wrong. My body's tingling. I think that's the power. Bro, you really did me a solid. If you want me back in town, I'll be there. But I ain't going anywhere without my main dog, Snorpy. He'd be lost without me. I can't get Snorpy to leave, though. Whatever's keeping him here, he doesn't want to talk to me about it. Says it's a secret project. But I got a feeling he'll talk to you. <laughs> Ah, yes. I wish I could tell Chandlow everything, but knowing the truth would only put him in more danger. Anyway, you have my thanks for helping him. Perhaps I can trust you after all. I am Snorpington Fizzlebean, engineer and seeker of truths. Here, new chum, lean in close so that I may bestow a hug on you. Ah. Ah, what an excellent hugging experience that was. We shall have to do that many more times. Now, I need your help. Are you willing to risk your life for the greater good? Splendid! There is another device you will need. I've hidden it inside the Bugwatch Tower. Once you have it, I will tell you more. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Ah, that's right. I planted a radio tracking device on you during our mutual hugging. Now we can communicate securely. Ah, one of those flying bug stacks has set off the tower's alarm system again. Not to worry. With my trip shot device, you can disrupt the snack's movement. Beware, the Grumpanati are always listening. <laughs> Turn to me for the next phase of the plan. Ah, chum, I have such a craving for cookies. Why, my craving is so terrible that I would like my teeth to be cookies, so that I may taste my own teeth, you see. <laughs> oh, do be aware that the trip shot cannot attach to snow, sand, or dirt. A minor design bra, perhaps, but that's what I get for using suction cups instead of knives. <laughs> the Grumpanati are using the cookies to trace my dental fillings, but if my teeth are cookies, the resulting counter signal will make my location. Ooh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Splendid! I no longer have to worry about psychotronic torture or cavities. But now I hunger for charmallows. Can't ever have enough charmallows.
With that blind spot in place, I can safely return to Snacksburg. Meet me outside. Hmm. This guy seems clear of danger. I suppose it's now or never. Oh, Snorpy's ready to go? All right, dog, let's do this. In just a moment, Chandler. You've been an invaluable ally. I'm even tempted to call you a friend, but quietly so I'm not overheard. Bro. If I didn't think it'd crush you like a tin can, I would hug the grump out of you. Oh, what the grump? Here it comes! What expert hugging that is, you do that hug. All right, let's get out of here. Race you back to town, Snorp Dog. Oh, please don't make me run with you, Chandlo. I'll go weak in the knees. If you're not up for it, I could always carry you. No, oh, no, that's quite all right. Your loss. See you back in Wait. town, bro. Chandlo. On. Doing good? How you doing? How's it going? Aloha! Whoa! Come check this out! Philbo told me you were living here and I thought, you know what this place needs? Walls! It's my bad for not finishing it in the first place though. I was gonna have it ready in time for you, but then all that stuff happened. But sooner or later, Chandlo gets the job done! Enjoy your walls, dog! Bro!
Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. What's going on, Wiggle? Hey there. How's it going? Nice Hello. to see ya. Hey, Wick. Hi there. Hello, darling. What's going on, Wiggle? Hello, darling. Tiffany, what's going on? Doing good? Hey there, how's it going? Tiffany, what's going on? Hello! <laughs> 
Hello. Oh no, not again! Hey, um, could you help me with something? See, I've got a bad habit of walking around in my sleep, and uh, looks like I've been eating in my sleep too. So if you see me sleepwalking, be sure to wake me up, okay? <laughs> Bro. Hello? Better not melt off. 
Anyway, a deal's a deal, friend. The bridge is yours. Some assembly required. Oh, and so you know, Cromdomart is not responsible for any loss or injury suffered as a result of the use of its products. Hey, if you need anything else, anything at all, please, please, please call your friend Cromdo. Oh, I'm already sweating. It's too hot, too hot. Oh, I don't like that. How you doing? Jessica, to what do I owe the honor? Oh, um, I'm just curious what you think you're doing here. What am I doing? I'm working the counter. Cromdomart's back in business, baby. Don't act all innocent. If you start running scams again, I'll know. Yeah, yeah, because you know everything. And here's what I know. You're not better than me, Beth. Nobody likes all you snooping around. <laughs> I don't care what they think about me, as long as I make sure you get what you deserve. Don't I always? Are you going to buy something or what? Yeah, I'll take a tall snack water extra fizz. Coming right up. Nice night out. All right, I could use some practice. They'll be interviewing me every day when I'm a gazillionaire. <laughs> Business King, Sales Savant, Future CEO. You ever smell the future, kid? Huh? I can tell you, Lisbeth stank of opportunity. She came on TV talking big about this new superfood, and I wanted in. So I quit my dead end job and followed that stench of possibility. I used to go door to door selling gruel to grandmas. Paid on commission for grump's sake. <laughs> what do I think of? <laughs> Delicious! Irresistible! Marketable! They're gonna catapult me straight to the top of Money Town, baby! Yeah, I tried to make use of what Lisbeth didn't need anymore, and Bethica didn't like that. Yeah, she went and told everyone that I'm a thief. I was salvaging! That's a community service, pal! But Bethica planted evidence in my hut, said I stole her diary, so I did what any honest grump would do. I ran. Oh, don't get me started. Everyone here thinks she's so great, such a fantastic leader, but I know the truth. She came here to stroke her ego and get Egabel her fix. The rest of us were just pssst. Disposable. That's Elizabeth Megafig. When push came to shove, she abandoned us. I, I gotta confess, I was thinking about sailing home after things got hairy. But when I went looking for our boat, it was gone. There's only two grumps missing. You do the math. <laughs> I bet Liz and Egg are living large in New Grump City by now. Yeah, 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 I get it, pal. I'm not the nicest grumpus around. I learned early on that life is like a box of trash. You always know what you're gonna get. Trash. Just go check out where the boat was. See what you think of Lisbeth after that. Psst. Hey, pal, I got a business opportunity for you. I got a tip that Triffany found some sort of treasure map while she was digging around. They say it'll lead to a huge bug snack. Imagine what a snack that size is worth. I was thinking of taking that map off her paws. That's where you come in. 
Get me a bunk snack so delicious that Triffany would die for it, and we'll trade. Then we'll split the profits 50-50. I clearly said 50. <laughs> on, Charwee. Just follow Papa's pointer. Or, or don't. That's fine, too. We're off to a bit of a slow start. Oh, it went so easy with Sprout, I just don't know what's going wrong now. Maybe. Maybe Sprout can help. I'm sure he can show Charwee the ropes. What do you say? Just use Sprout to lead Charwee back to my barn. Charwee's a good boy, yes he is. Well, it's a start. But I'm a long ways off from teaching them to spell out, we love you, Papa. Why, I have to cover myself in sauce every morning just to get them to pay attention to me. But that's just the way it goes. You pour every little bit of love you got into somebody and you just hope they notice. Ah, nothing like getting toasty. Oh, what? Ch Darling, are you ready to help me top the charts? Triffany told me about a bug snack in the desert that only appears during the full moon. A creature in tune with the cosmos. Something that beautiful must also be significant, no? Like a Nothing yet. Think something might be wrong with the soil. Too dry or maybe too wet. Either way, something needs fixing. Why don't you fetch me a big old fibrous bug snack, like a spuddy? I got a plan. Nothing like a campfire. That's not for me. No, you go and feed that to <laughs> Philbo. Then, hold up by the outhouse for a spell. When his business is done, gather up the fertilizer. Well, you know, uh, night soil, waste, spud cruds. Come on, don't make me get crude now. Nothing like a campfire. Ow. Mm. <laughs> Aww, thanks for the gift, buddy. Though, suddenly, I'm feeling nature call. Sorry, gotta go. Oh boy, oh boy, okay. Here's to a hard day's work. How you doing? How's it going? Nice night out. Whoo wee! That stink could raise the dead. Whew! That's bound to be potent enough for my soil. Thanks, stranger. Ah, <sighs> another fine day behind us. 
Ooh, gonna quiz me, dog? I'll crush your questions! <laughs> Chandlo Funk Bun, I lift. It's a way of life, bro. Anything that needs to go up. Logs, buildings, balls, Snorpy, I'll get them there. If I want to push my limits, I gotta go somewhere extreme. I heard nobody comes back from this island. Sounds like a challenge to me. Hey, I'm always looking out for Snorpy. I know roughing it isn't his style, but there's no way I was coming here without him. I don't know what you mean, dog. We're like the sky and the sea. Been together since the dawn of time. Bug snacks are strong. Like a primal kind of strong. Like they own this place, and I gotta respect that. Bro, Snacksburg was a disaster without Lizbert. I couldn't stop all the fighting with lifting or wisdom. I gotta keep things chill for Snorpy. He's got a lot of that social anxiety. Lizbert is top dog, you feel me? She really inspires me to test my limits. But, uh, that's about it. I'm really tighter with Egabel. Egabel's a sweetie. She was always looking, but she was always pushing herself way harder. Yeah, she asked me to train her. Surprised the grump out of me, because she really wasn't built for that kind of stuff. We'd go running every morning and lifting after lunch. Though she would get real down on herself sometimes. But she never gave up, and I respect that. I wish I could tell you, those two were strong together. I can't think of anything that could take them down. They gotta be okay out there, somewhere. Bro, that's not... Just don't. Anyway, I recorded Egabel's progress while we were working out. She shared some pretty private stuff. But maybe it'll help you bring her back to us. Don't let me down, bro. Are you mad? I can't have my secrets plastered all over the front page news. Of course I do. But at the same time, I don't want them finding me. Hmm. I suppose I can reveal a tad bit, so long as my identity is protected. <laughs> I am Snorp Redacted Bean. And I have devoted my life to inventing devices that foil the machinations of the Grumpinati. Well, I was dragged here by my dearest friend, Ch Redacted. He thought I needed some fresh air or something. Much as I hate the outdoors, I simply can't say no to him. Well, I, 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 I mean, we've been together since kindergarten. It would make perfect sense if we were together together. He's never said we are, has he? I surmise they are some sort of synthetic life form designed to beguile our taste buds. I'm so glad you asked. I believe there may be a factory located on this very island, hidden somewhere deep underground. I have charts. Let me show you my charts later. I was too exposed. Floofty tried to wrap me up in their experiments, now that Lizbert and Agabel weren't around to occupy them. I could see that this was the next step in the Grumpinotti's plot against me. Lizbert disappears, we are hit with an earthquake, we suffer a snack shortage, all that in one day. Do you really think those are all coincidences? The timeline is on my charts. Elizabeth Megafig was a curious sort, and had a foolish bone in her body. She could rival me in wits, and chat redacted. Blow an arm wrestling. We would share secrets now and again. Dreadful, terrible secrets. <laughs> I'm not telling you the terrible secrets because they are terrible and secret. Excellent interrogation, chum. So great that you deserve another hugging experience. Ah. 
<laughs> <laughs> this must not go on the record. Elizabeth Megafig discovered something on the island and came to me for help. An entrance to the underground, locked behind a strange device. I assisted her in unraveling its secrets, and soon after, she vanished. You must take extreme caution. I can tell you where to find it, but the rest is up to you. What are you looking at? Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey, how's the journey? Hi. Oh, yeah. Ah. There, bestie. We've got a new target. Cromdo's back in town. I know that greedy crumbag has some juicy dirt. I'm not talking about his pathetic little lies or scams either. I'm sure you'll find something good. Don't let me down, bestie. <laughs>
Man, is somebody there? You didn't hear anything, pal. You got that? Not a single peep.
What's up? O-M-G. That explains why he's always so jealous of Wiggle. Why would he even hide that? It almost makes him kind of likable. See ya. How's it going? Hey! Hello? Bye. 
Bonger, 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 What's shaking, baby? A generation. Bug snacks, bugs snacks on the island in my mouth, so tasty. Well, that's all I have so far. It's a work in progress, but what do you think? Don't patronize me, darling. The truth is written all over your face. I don't know why I bother. I know I don't have any real talent. My whole career was an accident. <sighs> Sorry, darling. I need to be alone for a while. Mm. I know you've been spying on me, Beth. You keep out of my business, or I'll... Or you'll what? You're the one keeping secrets. You can't touch this. Yeah, 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 yeah. You think I'm the only one who's sick of your gossip girl stick, huh? Sooner or later, you're gonna be back in your cave all by yourself. Whatever. At least then, I wouldn't have to hear your slimy voice.
What's up? It's fine. Cromdo didn't say anything I don't already know. It's been a rough day. Why don't we uh, unwind with some snack pods? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
How you doing? What's up, bro? Yeah, dog. I'm trying to pull up this stump so I can build a bebop core. I'm about as swole as a grumpus can get, and I can't move this thing at all. I gotta be stronger than a grumpus. I gotta push my limits, you feel me? Uh, I need your help to bulk up. If you go find the biggest, buffest bug snacks around, and I eat them, maybe I'll gain their strength. <laughs> Hey, hey. to know you, you'd probably hate me for it. <laughs> ah, oh well. Enjoy it while it lasts, Biffy. You want something? <laughs> hey there.
Quibble. Listen up, Pam. What's up? Hey, bestie. Now that Snorpy and Chandlow are back, it's Toad's snooping time. I never got any dirt on Chandlow. He's got to have some deep, dark secret, but whatever it is, he's too good at hiding it. If anybody can find their way through that buff facade, it's you, bestie. <laughs> Doing good? Oh, not too bad. Actually, would you mind helping me out here? I dug up this journal out in the canyon. It's, um, a record of historical landmarks and bug snacks. I want to follow in the writer's footsteps. So, uh, if it's not too much trouble, would you want to go exploring with me? Oh, you're too kind. The first place of note is in Flavor Falls. Meet me there whenever's good for you. <laughs> All righty. What we're looking for is a big stone grumpus face and a bug snack called a pinkle. Let's look around. That's a good one. You might have noticed pinkle statues scattered around here. These must have been an important food source to the ancient grumps. That there would be the work of the ancient stone grumps, a civilization from over 5,000 years ago. All that's left of them is statuary and some puzzling mechanisms. Unlike the desert grumps, these folks didn't preserve their dead. In fact, the writer thinks they would sacrifice him to the bug snacks, like an offering to the gods and whatnot. This means bug snacks may be a more lasting legacy than any of the stuff they built. Well, I was hoping to find a camp of some sort, maybe a corpse or two. But oh well, there's plenty more spots to check out. Let's head back to Snacksburg for now.
sweet, sweet, sweetie pie. Sweetie pie! Sweet. Sweetie pie! Sweet, 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 sweetie pie.
Listen up, pal. Hey, Wambus. Wambus? Hey, how's the journey? Hi.
Wah, stack a rag. Wah, wah, stack a rag. Wah, stack a rag. hours go by pretty fast when we're working together, Wamby. And now that the avalanche is cleared away, we can go explore the top of the mountain. Trivi, I'm almost 50, and my back's at least 100. Let's go lie down for a spell.
stupid, 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 stupid. Scooper Duck Scoop Scooper Scoop 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 Scoop
Hello, Tiffany. Doing good? How's it going? How's it going? Yeah, hi. Hey there.
Hey, buddy. Hey, how's it going? Everything okay? <laughs> yeah! Yep. <laughs> All right. How you doing? A wiggle, 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 wiggle. Hello, darling. Hey, buddy. Hey, bro. Just got done fixing up the old bridge. Would have done it sooner, but Cromdo wanted me to pay him for the rights of repair. Whatever that means. Anyway, no need to thank me. Just go find Shelda, all right? shall be shared. In seeking inner peace, Shelda has renounced material temptations. So it is that Shelda is really grumping hungry. Seek the yellow sauce within the great maw of stone. On this I shall be sustained. <laughs> Ooh, yum is one, and one is craving reapers. Consider the sandscape a reflection of the mind. One unable to escape its dry embrace. First, an act of rebirth, to break out of my current shelter. So too must you break shells. Crack open the egglers. Give them new life. <laughs> the 
I too have burst from my shell and so oozes forth my spiritual yoke. Yet obstacles devour that yoke, the sinister peccantis of temptation. To truly destroy these obstacles, one must break them down into their elements. Smack of temptation removed. Yet, one still lost in darkness, seeking the light. For only in the light of Mother Nature can the toxin be purged. Seek a rasby deep below. A hidden ruin, a maze of trials, 
guide this Rasby to one's side. Once was lost, now is found. The path to light determined. The time has come. Egress from the sandscape. So it is that Shelder survives. It was a metaphor. Now to Snacksburg goes me to bring such clarity to my followers. Go, go, go. 
Hello, Tiffany. Hey, buddy. Oh, hi there. Hey, how's the journey? Cromdo, how are you? Hey, mind your own beeswax, huh? How you doing? Oh, hi there. Isn't that nifty? <coughs> Neat. Work, pal. Now hand it over and watch me work. Oh, man, I am stuffed thanks to my friend here. I couldn't eat another snack. Guess I'll just throw away this delicious buffalo -cust. Did you say buffalo -cust? Oh, Hold on now, Cromdo. I'd be happy to take it. 
take it? I don't do charity, Triff. Ah, uh, what do you want for it? Well, I happen to be in the market for a treasure map. Never mind. See ya. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> What's the deal here? I'm not letting a crook like you get a hold of that map. You'll just swipe the bug snacks and sell them off. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. I, 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 yeah. Business as usual. I try to play nice and fair. I get a door slammed to my face. Yeah, well, if Triffity thinks I'm a crook, I'll show her a crook. We're gonna steal that map. Meet me outside her hut. Midnight. No cops. <laughs> All right, pal, here's the plan. I'll keep watch and turn away any looky-loos while you sneak upstairs all quiet-like and nap that map. Got it? Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. No, I'd do it myself. Believe me, it's just that uh, I got this uh, this condition where I'm deathly allergic to uh, to jail time. Yeah, don't sweat it, pal. You'll do great. Oh, what's that? Cactus? Oh, good. Love you, Cactus. Prickly pear. Oh, ho, 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 ho. nice job. Easy as pie. Look, I'm not a bad guy. When I got my bug snacks, I'll pay Triffany back way more than this is worth. Anyway, we're gonna have to wait a while for the heat to die down. Until then, zip, 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 zip. Lip zipped, got it? My. Oh, thanks for waking me. Uh, those sure are biggins. Well, no matter what the size, there's always room for more in my family. I'm sure they'll fit in just fine.
Traffic, 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 Scoop, 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 scoop it. Scoop.
all right now, Manny. I just follow the pointer and oh! wait, come Rupert. back, Rupert. Manny, Rupert. but Natalie's Steve. They, they left me. <laughs> I guess that's just what family does. They're never around, barely ever talk to you. Then one morning you wake up and they're gone without so much as saying goodbye. I thought bug snacks would be simple. They don't have it in them to be cruel, but the cruelest thing you can do is not care at all. Oh, maybe I should pay Wiggle a visit. Uh, after I fix the fence, of course. Oh, Shelda's back. Wiggle and Gramble are gonna be so stoked. Ah, oh, yes, one has returned from a great spiritual sojourn. So it is, one would really like to lie down. Sounds intense. I bet you're overflowing with wisdom now. Go ahead and lay it on me, Sheldog. Ah, yes, uh, wisdom. Um... The strength you seek cannot be found within toxins, for the truest strength is the will to resist. Whoa, I get it. I gotta check my snacks, and if they look toxic, I won't eat them. No, one is not. You... Ah, oh, clearly you need more guidance. Grump, yeah, I do. I'll bring the others, too. Oh, one is sure it will be enlightening. When one asks questions, one may receive answers. <laughs> one is called Shelda. A one who is me acts as a vessel for the will of Mother Nature. So it is. One maintains balance and purity. <gasps> A calling felt in the soul. Distant voices saying, They need you. Free tickets won in a raffle. A, a raffle is a metaphor. Uh, but yes. The toxin. The mother abhors them in all their alluring forms. One feels them crawling around us, beneath us, inside us. 
Mother Nature, the Mother. She, the purest light from whom all life flows. One cast out they, the scion of toxins, yet lessons unlearned, the cravings only grew. So it was one journeyed far to isolate oneself and live by example. So it was one got very, very lost. She, the huntress, is gone from us, strayed from the mother's path, chasing the healer's tainted love. Thrice were they warned, so this once you shall be warned. A doom befalls those who consume the toxin. A doom of toxin unending. The ground shakes. The sky splits. Look not upon it. Move not an inch or be swallowed by the queen of venom. Or so I heard. Everyone is a fraud in a sense. Ever are more questions asked, seldom are more answers given. One must live content with the absence of knowing. Meditate on this. A vessel of the unknown. May answers be found in its mystery. Um. You who continues to spread the toxin's dark influence are lost. But one will guide you to the true path. Behold, the box of purity. Those box nuts placed inside shall be purged by the light of Mother Nature. Make an offering to the box. Show that you are willing to walk this path. <laughs> A wise choice was made. So it is, the light that shines within darkness shines brightest over all. Meditate on this and return one day hence. How's it hanging? Stop! Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Hello? Yum. Yum. Scoop, 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 scoop. 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 
Doing good? Oh, hi there! Hey, Wambus. Everything good? A wiggle, 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 wiggle.
How you doing? took your precious time getting here. Any longer and my leg might have rotted away. Come, let's finish our work. Absolutely not. I'm on the verge of a breakthrough. Now assist me or be gone with you. Ah, always a question worth asking. Preparations for my grand experiment are nearly complete. Soon we will see if we can amend my ambulation. But for now, simply transform my arm into a red banapa. <laughs>
Unbelievable. <clears throat> yum, yum, yum. Intriguing. <clears throat> cool. Neat. <clears throat> Intriguing. <clears throat> Unbelievable. Yum, yum, yum. Intriguing. <clears throat> cool. Neat. Excellent. That is one more thing I must do. Hand me the Snacktivator. The old Snacktivator was worthless scrap. I have updated it. It is now capable of altering snack matter through a process of sonic anamnesis. Ugh. My body remembers what I eat. The Snacktivator can change snackified limbs into anything I've ever eaten. Use it. Change my arm from Bonapra to Strabby. <laughs> Are you amazed? You've seen nothing yet. If my hypothesis is correct, the bug snacks can remember the shape of my body. It is time to test that hypothesis. Use the snacktivator on my missing leg. <laughs> Aha! My leg is back! Bug snacks can cure the sick, revitalize the frail! This discovery will reshape the world. To think Elizabeth and Agabel walked away from that. <laughs> Pathetic. <clears throat> but I refuse to dwell on personal matters while there is yet more work to do. Use the Snacktivator again. Transform my limbs into Cocomites. Unbelievable. Yum, yum, yum. Intriguing. <clears throat> cool. Neat. Hmm. My body has changed into more cocomites than I've eaten. Can you even comprehend what has happened? This means that all bug snacks are one and the same. Each one could change into any other with the right stimulus. And now, that is true of me. Now, use the snack activator to its full potential. I want limbs of Noodler, Cocomite, Bonabra, and Strabby all at once. <laughs>
Unbelievable. I have learned much. Despite your general ignorance, you have been of use to me. Good job. No matter how many bug snacks I become, my body feels no different. Is there a threshold of crumpusness? When every cell of my body is bug snacks, will I remain floofy fizzle bean? Or will I simply be bug snacks right down to the taste? I must find out. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. The answers won't come to me without further testing. However, I have exhausted my research here. I will experiment on Snacksburg. <laughs> I look forward to working with you further. Thank <laughs> you. 
How you doing? 
You've done right by me, stranger. Thanks for sticking with me. Come back tomorrow. We'll see if this bears fruit. Howdy. Welp, they came out of the ground all right. Guess I didn't bury them deep enough. What am I supposed to do if even I don't believe in me? I didn't come to this island to be free or to live off the land. I'm here because I couldn't make it over there. Deep down, I'm a failure. It's all right. I knew it all along. Well... I still got my sauce. It's not bug snacks, but it's not nothing. Maybe I'm just stubborn enough to call that a win. Right. All right. All right.
Jesus!
Hey, hey! <laughs> Hi! Ooh. Hey, buddy! Toxins are no more. Oh, one is pure. One would never be tempted by such poison. This is why one sits in meditation every day for six hours repeating the mantra. Don't think about bug snacks, don't think about bug snacks, don't think about bug snacks. And so it is. One never thinks about bug snacks. Ever the sun rises, ever are more toxins left to be purified. In dreams each night, one sees inch wraps, cheeses, and peel bugs. This vision must be the will of the mother. So it is. You must bring them to the box. So purity! <laughs>
Oh, hi there. Floofty. Snoppington. So, you've slithered back into town. Up to another grumpinati scheme. I'm not participating in your delusions, brother. You waste your talented mind playing spy games when you could be assisting my research. I'm never assisting you again. Not until you find your moral compass and stop working for the man. Oh, please. Don't try to dress up your cowardice. I'm no coward. I... You still haven't told the green meathead how you feel. But whether that's different, don't try to confuse the issue. I thought so. Leave me to my business and I'll leave you to yours. Darling. This is what peak performance looks like. Or, you know, almost. There's no gaining without training, dog. I got a new exercise in mind, if you're ready to spot me. I set up these hanging weights all around town. I'm gonna jog around. You use your grappler to knock them down on top of me. Maybe for you and Snorpy, but this is what I gotta do to challenge myself. Now get me to five weights. Let's do this, bro. How's it going? More weight. Ooh, that's heavy, hey, bro. Hey. Keep them coming! More weight! What's going on, Ugh. Wiggle? That's heavy, bro! Oh, I feel swole, dog! Now let's see what you got, Stump. Oh, Grump. I think my bicep exploded. But that's okay. I just gotta rest up and keep training. With this bug snack body, I'll get there. Cause if I don't, who's gonna have Snorpy's back? Yeah. 
Thanks, Bestie. Here's the plan. Snorpy basically can't see without his glasses. And I know he cleans them every day at five. So we'll approach him then, and if I'm green and I say bro a lot, he'll think I'm Chandlo. And obviously Snorpy isn't going to keep Chandlo's secrets from himself. It's not silly if it works. Snorpy isn't going to know what hit him. Let's hang out until it's time. <clears throat> hey, Snorp Dog, can I, like, ask you something? Chandlo, is that you? I can't see. Let me get my glasses. Oh, uh, there's no time, bro. This is important. Oh, uh, well, all right then. What is it? Bro, you remember that deep, dark secret we were talking about? You know, the really super secret one? Oh, ah, uh, that, yes, I suppose it is time we talked about it. Chandlo, it's hard for me to know what you're thinking, and I've been afraid of talking about it for so long, but the truth is, Chandlo, I, I love you with every fiber of my heart. <laughs> That's not a secret to anybody. Befika, what did you get here? How dare you intrude on our private moment? Uh, bro, she just... Ran off, dog. Like, I'm gonna go chase her, bro. Hello? Chandler? Anybody? Ah, chum. Good to see you on this ordinary tyranny-free day. Let us talk pleasantly of the weathers. I've discovered something terrible. My seismic readings show that activity in the mountain is growing stronger and more frequent over time. We must find the source of the quakes before the situation grows out of control. There is an unusually large bug snack on the mountain that I'm certain is involved. The formidable Scoopy Banoopy. Disassemble it and dispose of the components in my mouth, and once more we will have thwarted the Grumpanati. <laughs> Sandal, 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 Sandal,
What's up, dog? Ah, nice to see you. Ha. Huh? Ah. <laughs> Delicious. Thank you, chum, for feeding me that random bug snack for no reason. And while we're enjoying frivolous activities, I have another for you. Meet me out back. I'm afraid that our success may provoke a counterattack from the Grumpanati. However, I have defenses prepared. Oh, well, almost prepared. I've set up flares around town. They should ward away any predator snacks looking to take action against us. I'm so glad you asked. Did you know that my trip shot can do more than, well, trip? 
It can also spread fires, or spread waters, harness the elements of nature, if you will. With that in mind, you should be able to light the rest of my flares. <laughs> Greetings. Oh, bro, you're gonna burn down. Why are you like, bro? If you don't want. Excellent. We're protected for the time being. Yes, he does that sometimes. He's adorably inquisitive. You let me worry about that. I'm very used to worrying. For now, ease your mind. I'll let you know if any more trouble arises. You ag I am not here to spew gossip for that obnoxious rag you call a newspaper. Very well. If you insist, I will educate you. <laughs> I am Flufty Fizzlebean, the world's first gastroentomologist. In baby language, I study bug snacks and their effect on grumpuses. To study bug snacks, obviously. <sighs> when Elizabeth Megafig was recruiting for her cult of personality, I observed something strange about her arm. She was keeping it hidden, but she displayed early stages of snackification. That piqued my interest. You are asking for opinions instead of facts. I'm not going to discuss my feelings with you, you emotional parasite. Every time I try to publish my groundbreaking research, you journalists instead churn out slander about my dangerous methods or my questionable behavior. Stop editorializing and focus on the science. I simply wanted to continue my work, Egabel or no, but Shelda blamed me for the disappearances. I'm no stranger to witch hunts. I vacated before the pitchforks could come out. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I've only eaten one grumpus. Would you prefer I keep my severed leg in the outhouse? The truth. 
Elizabeth was an arrogant coward, unlike Agabel. Agabel truly understood my research. She was hungry to participate in it. Our work together was fruitful, even pleasant, until somebody interfered. Shelda, that mummified fraud, stoked Elizabeth's fear of my work, weaponizing her relationship to Agabel, scrambling her fragile emotions, and fabricating a binary choice between myself and Elizabeth. Ultimately, Agabel chose sentiment over science. <sighs> and I surmise that was the death of her. Yes, I have the password to Agabel's personal storage box. It may be of interest to you. You've wasted enough of my time now. Leave. Ah, you're here. I have need of your assistance again. Since my last discovery, I've been testing the limits of bug snack regeneration. Unfortunately, I've done all I can with this one leg. I want to try something rather more advanced. Put simply, I'm going to remove my head. Pardon me, I forgot your limitations. Remove as in cut off, head as in the thinky part. And I am reasonably certain that bug snacks will regrow it in its entirety. Indeed, perhaps I could do something more measured if I had a full team funding and a great deal more subjects. But as usual, nobody's volunteering. Oh, mighty well. You're welcome to try. <laughs> After what they put Eggabel through? No way, bro! <laughs> what? Where am I? Oh, thanks for waking me. No, no thanks. That floofty shows up in my nightmares, always watching me. Hey, buddy. Um, I don't think I'd be any help in that department. Floofty said I was about as useful as a beaker without a bottom. What's up? <sighs> Chandlow buried his dirt so deep, not even Snorpy knows about it. <sighs> I've spent my whole career looking into the good ones and finding out who they really are. And like, I'm always the one who suffers for telling the truth. Every friend I ever had dropped me as soon as I told them something they didn't want to hear. And it's no different here. <sighs> the only upside to being stuck on this island... At least I have bug snacks to keep me company. I don't know. I like you because we're similar. I'm a Leo like that. Can I really trust you? There's plenty of time to find out, but... I'd probably be a lot happier if I didn't know. Why? Is Floofty looking for someone to snack on? LOL, JK, but seriously, no. Ooh, yeah. Ones, speak not of the wicked alchemist. They who gladly hasten our doom. Doing... Oh, well, Floofty's fun to gap with, but their methods are pretty extreme, don't you think? Whoa-ha! No. Hey! 
Oh, are you kidding me, pal? I like my organs where they are. Thank you very much. Hello. As expected. My name alone is enough to frighten them off. Hardly. It's not me they're truly afraid of. They give in to cowardice and ignorance because they cannot fathom the tremendous good that my research can do. Since I have failed time and again to change their minds, the burden rests on me to complete the work. Perhaps then they will understand its value. As for you, I require enough bug snacks to fully transform my body. Only the sweetest and most filling will be acceptable. Consider it a personal request. This could be my last meal after all. <laughs> Yum, yum, yum. Cool. Neat. <clears throat> Intriguing. Very good. You're actually being useful. I have a few more preparations to make. The experiment will begin in 24 hours. Oh. I borrowed one of my brother's patented and Grumpinati traps and made some modifications. Once the device is activated, snacks will flow into my open mouth, thus triggering my regeneration. I don't. That's what the experiment is for. I need you to load the funnel at the back, and then we can begin. You put a stop to this nonsense right now! Snorbington! Here to sabotage my career again? Sabotage? I'm trying to save your life! Nonsense. If my hypothesis is correct, I will be perfectly fine and I will have advanced medical knowledge by a century. And if you're wrong, you'll be headless. Even after everything you've done, I still care about you, Floofty. Don't try to infect me with your cowardice. What you should care about is my work. That is what is truly important. You are important. Despite your rampaging ego, the world will go on with or without your experiments. I would think you at least would understand. Instead, you insist on being a selfish, spineless, slack-jawed baby. See, this is why nobody wants to help you. It's pitiful, isn't it? <sighs> I can rearrange fibrous tissue with electrostatic waves. But I cannot convince my own brother to help me. My work should stand for itself. I shouldn't need to put so much effort into explaining myself. But it does take effort. With the others, it is simple. I can write them off as ignorant, frightened children. <sighs> but not Snoopy. I know he's not a coward or a fool, which means that the error is mine. I cannot make myself understood. So I lose patience. And I give up on understanding. And perhaps that is cowardice on my part. Neat.
Santa. Oh, Santa. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, buddy, I've got another surprise for you. Let's go see your hut. I lifted your crib, dog! Woo! That's right. You've got a two-floor apartment now. You're really moving up in the world, huh? I was just thinking you've gotten so many presents from the rest of us, you are probably running out of room. <laughs> I even asked Chandlo for a third floor, but he said something about restricted airspace. Uh... Philbro. As mayor of Snacksburg, you really ought to read up on our zoning guidelines. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll do that. In the meantime, buddy, I can't wait to see what you do with your new place. Grump, yeah, dog! Especially after we send you even more stuff! Oh, yeah. Hey, buddy!
Hi. How you doing, Dub? Yum. Yum. Oh, great! <clears throat> One is pleased. Another step taken along the path. Return one day hence. Uh, again. Yep. According to the journal, this time we're heading for the Boiling Bay. All righty. See you there. <laughs> Lovely place, isn't it? And check out that real interesting shipwreck. If you don't mind, keep your eyes peeled for a treasure chest and a freezing cold bully of a bug snack. You know, Floofty's got a theory that the bigger a bug snack is, the older it must be. No telling yet how old, but imagine that snack was around in Grumpbeard's time. It could have even chased him off the beach. Fun to think about, eh? But bye now.
that settles it. This ship belonged to Grumpbeard. He disappeared at sea a hundred years ago. But I guess he wound up on Snacktooth Island. Hard to tell what happened to him after that. His bones could be just about anywhere. It really is the saddest thing, isn't it? When nobody knows how your story ends. <sighs> I can't find anything. She's not here either. I didn't mean to keep it from you, but that journal, it, um, it belonged to my... <laughs> See, some years ago, my grandma, Veronica Ladeblog, decided she was going to explore Snacktooth Island and discover its history. But we never heard from her again. That's really why I'm out here, to find out what became of her. <sighs> Anywho, that's all for now. Let's head back to town. Oh, 
Sure is a nice day, isn't it? Another fine day behind us. Greet. No. No. Come. Ah, 
another fine day behind us. Neat. We are ready to receive your wisdom, O oh great Shelda. One who stands atop the mountain cannot see beneath the waves. So it is one must dive to see the mountain top clearly. Wait a minute, you got bug snacks in you. No, I don't. <laughs> Darling, it's clear as day. Good for you. Change things up a little. Uh, um, uh, the, the toxin is spreading through the very air. One is tainted by your miasma of snacks. Leave now, so that one may be purified. I don't think that's how it works. Chill, bro. It's a metaphor. Yes, that. Walk in the light of the mother, my children. Oh, one is not so easily led astray. So it is. The greatest temptation begets the greatest faith. Sprinklepeed, Pilatos, and Flapjackarak. These heinous toxins must be brought to the box. One who is me is certain, yada, 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 just get the grumping snacks already. <laughs> Nothing like a campfire. How's it going? Awesome! Hey, mind your own beeswax, huh? What?
No, I'm a fraud. I might as well save my energy. Well, it's not entirely an act. I really do mean everything I say. It's just... Nobody's gonna listen to Shelsey Woolbag from Nowheresville. But they will listen to Sherda! One who is wise! One who is pure! One who is invincible! I have to set an example for the others. I can't let bug snacks have power over me. I'm supposed to be better than that. I ate them. Because I'm not better than that. Despite all my years, I'm still weak and clueless. If I've got any wisdom left to share, it's how not to end up like me.
Ah! You shouldn't be here. It's not safe. You need to get off this mountain for the sake of your health and well-being. Trust me, I'm a doctor. You... you know me? Oh, oh, you're the reporter! The one Liz was always talking about. I didn't think you'd really come out here. If another earthquake strikes, it'll cause an avalanche. If you're up here when that happens, you'll be buried in snow. And if you don't die from blunt force trauma, you'll asphyxiate. I can handle it! I've been up here for weeks on my own, doing fine. I'm surviving. No, not until I find Liz. We... We were exploring the mountain. There was an earthquake, and we got separated. Just go back home, okay? Be safe, and please, don't tell anybody I'm up here. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle. Aloha there. Hmm? <sighs> <sighs> ah. Ooh. Hey. Hey, buddy. Okay.
Armando, how are you? Am I want something? Hubba, hubba. Hello. <laughs> Stupid, but stupid. Stupid. Scoop, 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 scoop. Scoop, scoop. Scoops, 
Let's do it. Let's do it there. Silly Nilly. Silly Nilly.
Hooper sucks. Hey! Yeah! <laughs> All right! Yeah! Thanks for the help. Hi. 
Blessings be yours. Nothing like a campfire. like a campfire. Hey! Thank you. 
Oh. Mm. Awesome! Ow.
Thanks for the help. Okay. Greetings. How's it hanging? Hi. How you doing, dog? Bro. Whoa. How you doing? Yeah. Oh, what? Oh, what's shaking, baby? What's up, dog? Hey, Tiffany, what's going on? Yum. Rambus? Everything good? Hey, buddy.
like a campfire. Oh, hey, what's up? Hi. Oh, another fine day behind us. How's it hanging? Hey there. Hey there, how's it going? <laughs> All right. Hello. Oh, 
Hello. Want something? Salutations. Bro, I'm not getting any stronger. I wasn't pushing hard enough. Maybe it's the bug snacks. We went way too small, you feel me? I've been hearing rumors about this monster snack out in the forest. Wamba said it was so huge, no Grumpus alive could lift it. Sounds like the ultimate workout. Let's catch it, bro! Ah, uh, yeah! Meet me in Flavor Falls! <laughs> this way, dog! Just thinking about that buff snack is getting me pumped! Scorpion is telling me it's okay if I can't lift the tree stones. I feel that. I love him for that. He just doesn't get it. Baby. Doing this for him, the world will crush him away. I gotta be strong enough to keep him safe from all that. Was it kidding? That snack is huge! All right, you big bug! Here comes the Chandlo Slam! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
is on a rampage! I got an idea. I'll distract the mama. You get the drop on her! Hey! Over here! I got your baby ball! Thanks, bro. That bug could have killed me. It was way strong, dog. And once I eat it, I'll be just as strong. Ow. Bro. I was hoping I'd get twice as big or something. No, I'm just the same Chandlo. And Chandlo isn't good enough. I spent my whole life climbing a mountain. But once I got to the peak, all I saw was a taller mountain. Bro, even if I could rip out that stump, I couldn't stop an earthquake. There's always gonna be something bigger than me. Stronger than me. Snorpy's always gonna be in danger. Yeah. 
Come on, Egg. You can figure this out. Just think like Liz. Ah! Stop sneaking up on me or I'll quarantine you! Well, it's a big mysterious door, and I want to open it. There's some kind of weird lock on it. Liz figured it out, but I don't know what happened to her notes. I've almost got it, I swear. I just need to get into Liz's headspace. Oh my grump! Where'd you find this? Good work. Is her writing always this sloppy? It's not doctor bad, but still. Huh. Liz says I'll need to activate these statues by feeding them the snack they represent. Thanks for the help. I'll take it from here. Fine. You catch half, I'll catch the other half. And we'll meet back here. Sound good? Good. <laughs> Awesome! 
Here's to a hard day's work. Nice night out. How you doing? You're okay. You are okay, right? No drowsiness, numbness, or missing limbs? Uh, sorry. <laughs> uh, don't mind me. 
I got the rest of the snacks. Okay. Next she says... Oh. She says we need three grumpuses to do the final step. No. This mountain is unstable. The more of us there are stomping around up here, the more likely it is we'll cause a disaster. I can't let anybody else get hurt for my sake. I feel bad enough involving you. Oh, what would Lisbert do? Ask Philbo. Liz trusts Philbo for some reason. I'll wait for you here. Watch your step on the way back down, okay? <laughs> Greetings. Oh, what's shaking, baby? One last chance, darling. There's a massive bug snack out in the ocean. I've seen it riding the waves in the morning light. To be honest, I'm not even sure if it's real. But I must go after it. Please help me. I can't catch it alone. Fabulous. Let's jam. <laughs> My critic's all right, you know. I can't make the magic happen again. I've tried skydiving, crystal gorging, reverse exorcisms, everything. But that's the only thing that ever does the most of that state again. I must. It's that or I... Another empty venue. If you're out there, you won't be able to resist my siren song. Give me right. that. Music is a universal language, darling. Come to me, come to me, my muse of the sea. My mouth is your destination, and when I here's your destiny. I see my destiny, yeah, yeah, get in my belly. You are, you delectable Where dragon. Come on, are. let's make some music. Oh! Yeah. 
about bombing on stage. Still, not my most explosive performance. Come, darling, let's get this show on the road. a vapid waste of a song. To think that will be my legacy! Oh, why can't I make it happen one more time? Why can't the universe give me one more hit? Did you do it? Did you write your magnum opus? <sighs> Sorry, dear. It's never going to happen. Well, don't be so down, Wiggle. Maybe you're overthinking it. Why don't you just write from the heart? From the heart? Oh, Gramble, you sweet summer child. That's what I did before I was a star. I'll never make platinum that way. Why does that matter? You're already rich and famous. Because I need an audience. And I've seen time and time again that when I write for myself, nobody else wants to hear it. Well, 
I want to hear it. That's a nice sentiment, darling. Okay. How? Ooh. How? Ooh. How? Yeah. How? Ooh. How? Ooh. How? Ooh. How? Yeah. How? Ooh. Ooh. Hop. Yeah. Hop. <laughs> Ready to get rich? <laughs> Hope you got your sunglasses, pal, because we're heading to the sizzling sands. <laughs> Oh, I can smell it! This is gonna be the big one. My ticket out of this dump! After this, I won't have to work another day in sales for the rest of my life. I'm gonna use the cash to open a little karaoke bar where I can serve fancy drinks and sing as loud as I want! And I'll owe it all to bug snacks. Oh, and, uh, you, of course.
Hey, check it out. An old timey casket. What does this treasure in there? Hey, hey, got it, got it, got it. Don't cut it. Eh, whatever. On to the real price. This is the place. Looks like we gotta do something to call the bug snack out. Should be a switch right about. Ah, here! Whoa, that is something, all right. But it looks like we still gotta blow this thing open. See if there's anything good and explosive around here. There it is! My piece of the pie! Come on down here, you muddy angel! for a week. But with those bug snacks, I could just buy new lungs. <laughs> hubba, hubba. Nice work, pal. 
Let's go home and we'll count up the spoils. Ethica, to what do I owe the dishonor? Cut the grump, Cromdo. You're gonna give me a piece of that pie. And why would I do that? <laughs> maybe you're feeling generous. Or maybe you don't want Wambus to see all these pictures of you stealing Triffany's stuff. You sneaky little grump! You give me those pictures right now or I'll... Oh, Wambus! All right, all right, all right, all right! Shh, 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 shh! You win. Take a Beth. Hand yours over, pal. Oh, no need. I'd never sell out my bestie. Do? With what? <gasps> really? Oh, buddy, say no more. I am there. <sighs> this is a... This is... This is a big mountain, huh? A lot of... Oh, a lot of steps. Oh, Grump, I knew this was a bad idea. Oh, yeah. I'm fine, really. Oh, hey. You look just like my friend Agabelle. Agabelle! Oh, it's really you! Oh, you're here, alive, and not dead! Yes, it's me, Philbo. Calm down, you'll hyperventilate. Huh? Oh, okay. Okay, uh, yeah. Um, oh. Are you coming back to Snacksburg? Come on, get up. Let's get this door open before altitude sickness kicks in. Oh, Agabelle, it's so good to see you. I can't believe you've been up here all this time. You're so, uh, different. That's right. Soft little Agabelle you knew is gone. Yeah, you really came out of your shell, huh? <laughs> hey, um, so why do you want my help? I thought you would have asked Chandlo. Chandlo's got Snorpy to worry about. Besides, you've been following Liz around for years. What? I don't follow her around? Uh-huh. Point is, I know you care. And since I need three grumps, you might as well be one of them. Whoa, what is that thing? Liz thought it might be some kind of ancient temple to bug snacks. Oh, uh, wait a minute. If this door takes three of us to open, how would Lisbeth get inside by herself? What makes you think she's behind it? Because she has to be. I looked everywhere else. 
Well, it, it definitely looks important. How do we, uh, get in? Right. We need to stand here, here, and here. On three, we push. This is it. Ready? One, two, three! <laughs> What did I do wrong? Hey, hey, it's okay, Agabel. That was kind of scary, but we're fine. We'll just try it again and- No, I'll try it again. You two are going home. Agabel, I want to find Lisbert just as badly as you do. You don't have to do this alone. Yes, I do. I'm a burden to everybody around me. That's why she's gone. W what do you mean? I was being stupid and I slipped up on the cliffs while I was trying to show off. The earthquake hit and, and I was gonna fall, but Liz saved me, like she always does. She got swept away and then the ground opened beneath her and it, it swallowed her up. I'm so sorry, Agabel. Don't be, I'm used to it. Please just go, I can't stand to see anyone else hurt. <laughs> you know, when I was looking for Lisbert, I got really hungry. I, I couldn't catch bug snacks, so I tried eating this purple flower, but then I threw up. And then I went blind for a bit, and then I fell in a hole. And, and, and by the time I dragged myself out of there, I, I was so tired and hungry I could barely move. That's when we met, buddy. Philpo, th that's awful. <laughs> it was. Because, <laughs> you know... I, I can't make it on my own like you and Lisbert. And it's times like those when I could really use a doctor. <laughs> Alright. I get it. I need some time to think. I still want to figure out what I got wrong. When I do, I'll come find you. And then we'll find Liz together. Thank you, Philbo. Stay safe. How's it going? Oh, thanks for the help. <laughs> Listen up, pal.
How's it going? Where's the stump, Snorpy? I removed it with my digging device. It took five minutes. Bro! Thanks. Anytime, Chandlo. I suppose so. There's only one more place mentioned in Grandma's journal. We've got to head for the Frosted Peak. <laughs> We're almost there. Almost caught up to Grandma Lottablog. Grandma writes about the view from the top. Means we ought to start climbing, don't you think? Jimmy. Stupid, I'm This is it, all right. This camp had to be one of Grandma's. And I'm thinking that could be her right there. It'd be a fitting way to go, staring out over the land she loved exploring. And what's this snack? Maybe a last meal or... Wait. Even when I was a kid, Grandma didn't have too many teeth. This can't be her. Unless... Ooh, unless I'm remembering wrong. Or she got spares? It's been so long, I suppose I can't say. If I want to be dead sure, I need an expert.
Hey. Oh, thanks for the help. Okay. Well, hello there. I'm afraid we went after the wrong target. The mountain is now more active than ever. But the good news is I've isolated the source of this seismic activity. The bad news is it's on the frosted peak, and this time I've no idea what it might be. Be on your toes, chum. This one could get messy. <laughs> along the way, though you may need help lighting them. Ha 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 ha! It's the last place the Grumpanati would expect me to be. That, and I'd hate to make you do such a dangerous mission alone. To worry. According to my readings, it's still around here somewhere. We'd better go find it and finish the job. No escape now, you cunning conf... Action! Another tactical retreat. 
Oh. Sit up, chum. We've almost got it. The seismic activity has ceased for the moment. No, for a secret weapon that is a little lacking in subtlety. Who could the Grumpanati think they're fooling? I mean, honestly, what natural evolutionary process could possibly result in a birthday cake? But, no matter. Feed me the cake legs and we can leave this dreadful mountain. Birthday indeed. Thanks to you, we saved the island. Now let's hurry back to Snacksburg post haste. My paws are about to freeze off. Psst. 
Snorpy, what the grump? You climbed up the mountain? Without me? Grumping, why? I, I, I wish I could tell you. Then tell me. I'm done playing games, dog. You could have died up there. And then what would I do, huh? I'm sorry, Chandlo. That was not cool. Just, I gotta chill out. You figure out when you're ready to talk to me. I, I know he hates being in the dark. And I hate leaving him there. I want to tell him everything, but I don't want to lose him. Is that really it? No. No. Uh, the truth is, I don't think he'll believe me. But now it seems like I might lose him whether I tell him or not. So congratulations, Grumpy Naughty. You win. Yes. Child? Oh, that. <clears throat> nice to see. I'm not doing too good. I'll never know what happened to my grandma. The end of Bronica Lotta blog is a big blank spot in history. There's nothing left of her here. Just like everybody else who came to this island. A place where you go to be forgotten. A place where I'll be forgotten. But, you know, maybe at least the bug snacks will remember me.
evening. Well met. buddy.
Bye. Greetings.
Ah, uh, chum, I need your help with a matter of grave importance. You see, my seismic readings have been off the charts today, and I fear something terrible is happening just off the coast. Chandler and I are headed to Simmering Springs to investigate, and I'd be greatly reassured if you could join us. Splendid! Meet us there whenever you get the chance. In the meantime, we have preparations to make. Chandler, ready the sunscreen! <laughs> have a beach party. Need me to sunscreen your back, Snort Dog? No, no, no need, Chandlo. I'm well protected. I can tolerate the horrible sun for at least a few minutes. You sure? I could check if you missed a spot. <laughs> Best to keep our wits about us. This seismic event could happen any moment. Oh, oh, oh. Bro, what was that? They're not usually this intense. An anomaly, to be sure, but it ended surprisingly quick. Oh, oh, oh. It's a new island, dog! We gotta go over there! Uh, must we? Uh, um, yes, uh, uh, of course. Uh, but, but surely this job is bigger than the three of us. We need to form a miniature expedition. A gathering of our finest scientific minds. Of course, that means Triffany and... Floofty. Ooh, get Shelda, too! Shelda? Well, she's hardly qualified. You said you want the finest minds, and Shelda's loaded with wisdom. Bam! Team assembled! Oh, I suppose she is an herbalist, and the closest thing we have to a doctor without Eggabel around. Very well, tell Triffany, Floofty, and Shelda to come to the beach. Chandler and I will stay here to prepare a way across. Get hyped! <laughs> Yo, 
Oh! What's up? Oh. You're asking me? <clears throat> well, of course. Your need for guidance is great. Despite the peril, one will show you the path. And that scary little island. If it's what I think it is, there's something there I need to see. Yum. I'm sorry to say, Professor Lotterblog, but you and this charming specimen are not related. Oh, well, that's all right then. Thanks for the help. May I keep it? I could use a few more skeletons in my closet. <laughs> Go ahead. It doesn't really matter now anyway. Yeah, I... desserts. Hey, you don't get it, pal. It doesn't matter if I'm honest or dishonest. Either way, I lose out in the end. You think I like being a scumbag? A grifter? A hustler? It's all miserable. Because then, I got some tiny, minuscule chance of living my dream. But I wasn't born rich. And that means I can't afford to be happy. So unless you're gonna buy something, get lost, pal. Greetings. Hmm. So an unknown piece of geography has erupted from the ocean, unexplained and unstable, likely to sink again at any moment. So of course I'm going. I will gather my equipment. Doing good. Oh, you better believe I do. Islands don't just pop into being every day, you know. I got no business left here, so I'll go on ahead and meet you on the beach. Whoa Uh, so soon? We're not quite ready. Uh, we could use another few days of assessment. What are you talking about, Snorp Dog? We got the raft ready in record time. Let's go get everybody. <sighs> of course, Chandlo. All righty. I'm here and ready to explore. Ooh, nice work on that raft there, Chandlo. Thanks, Brophany. Indeed. If it is not more than a finely crafted tomb for the foolish wanderers. Of course, Snorpington can get volunteers. Ah, oh, but it seems a vagrant has wandered into our expedition. Snacksburg is that way, Shelder. <gasps> Be still, your wicked tongue. One must show respect to one's elders. I will respect you as soon as you do something respectable. No, oh, you think so highly of yourself that you alone are they who can know the unknowable? No, you bring ruin to all that you touch. Ruin to Egabel, ruin to Elizabeth, ruin to your own flesh and blood. I'm starting to think this might not have been the best idea. You know, six folks is a lot for one raft. Maybe one of us ought to stay back home? Which one? Uh... We're all going. Me and Snorpy can hold it together. Actually, Chandlo, uh, well, I was thinking you and I should stay here and supervise. What? Bro, why'd I build all this stuff if we're not going? 
don't you want to know what's on the new island? Well, of course I do, but look at that thing. That island is a death trap. Come on, Snorp Dog. It's probably fine. Look, I gotta go out there. They need me. Yes, somebody needs to caddy the septuagenarian. Shut it. You can go if you must, Chandlu. But I'm staying here. But bro, we do everything together. What if something happens to you while I'm gone? Me? Well, I'll be on this lovely beach. What if something happens to you? Yes, yes, you can both be struck by a meteor at any moment. Honestly, they do this every time Chen Lo goes to check the mail. Can we stop wasting time and get on with this expedition before I'm as old as Shelda? <clears throat> you two are like mirrors, reflecting endlessly. One must look away from the infinite abyss and gaze down only at oneself. What? Oh. Far be it for me to give anyone life advice, but there's nothing wrong with a little time apart. It's healthy, even. All right. If you all say so. Don't worry. I'll be in radio contact the entire time. And I've got trackers on at least three of you. Right. Okay. Then let's get this party started! <laughs> Bro, I'll let you do the honors. Just jump on the raft when you're ready. All right, Snorp Dog. We made it to the other island. We found some kind of reef cove thing to land on. Chandlo, listen to me. It's very important. You need to understand that remote detonator. Snorpy! Oh, Grump, the radio's broken. No, no. I think we're just out of range. Or there could be some interference going on. Oh, how unfortunate. I suppose we will have to proceed without Snorpington's so-called supervision. But maybe we should go back and tell him? It'll only take an hour. The threshold is crossed. It cannot be uncrossed. And if you think I'm spending another minute on that plank of wood today, <laughs> you are dead wrong. Yeah, you're always right, Shelda. Snorpy knows we got this. He'd want us to keep exploring. Huh. Looks like there's a way across up there. Let's check it out, bro. that thing up? I bet Snorpy's trip shot could do it. Nice. Last one across is a rotten angler. Well, would you look at that? Kind of ancient maze carving with moving parts and everything. Well, whoever built it put it directly in our way. Chenlo, you excel in brute force. Destroy this. You got it, Floof Dog! Call me Floof Dog again and see what happens. Now hold on, hold on there. Let's not go smashing the priceless antiques just yet. Looks like you could fit your buggy ball down there in the entrance. I bet if we solve this maze, something real interesting is going to happen. Oh, <laughs> 
Not to mention the water damage. If that's just the door, who knows what historical goodies we'll find inside there. can even see evidence of civilization from who knows when. Oh, check out that impressive looking temple up there. One is more concerned with the ominous crater that lies beneath. If my eyes do not deceive me, I believe I've spotted new varieties of bug snacks as well. New bug snacks? Sick! Think they could be dangerous? There's an easy way to find out. Well, uh, before we get too ahead of ourselves, we might want to set up a base camp. A wonderful idea. One could use time to... Ah, uh, recenter. Five minutes in and you already need a nap. Leave the labor to the productive members of society, then. Oh, please don't start this again. Bros! Come check this out! You seeing what I'm seeing? It's bunger time! Excellent. Why don't you go and fetch it for us, Chenlo? Way ahead of you, dog! Oh dear. You better go follow and help him out. We'll stay up here and start setting up camp. <laughs> Just me? Or is that bunger way bigger than normal? Try throwing it at the big bunger. Maybe that'll do something. Oh, it stops being big. I bet it's small enough to get. <laughs> got bunger, I got hunger. Now bunger me, bro! Now. Whoa! So good! That's a whole meal in one bite! We gotta tell the others about this. Plus, I should probably help unpack. Did you all see that? Giant bug snacks! Even the bungers out here are as big as Mama Melon! Gosh, we might be witnessing a prehistoric species somehow preserved at the bottom of the ocean! 
Aha! Uh -huh. That would align with my theory on the correlation between age and size. The lost sister of Snacktooth lies unburied. Yet you marvel at the engorgement of the toxins that dance on her grave. The lost what, now? Tell me, Chenlo, how did you come to capture this specimen? We found a jar of some kind of small dust. It came out of this old lady statue thing. A statue, eh? What did it look like? Like a big friendly grumpus lady with flowers all around her. Ugh. No. That sounds like it could be a shrine to Mother Nature. Whoa. Shelda, that's your thing. No, 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 no. Ah, uh, but why would Mother Nature, noted despiser of bug snacks, be dispensing bug snack catching equipment? Hmm? Shelda, your god is a hypocrite. Silence, you wretch. The mother guides. The mother protects. If you so doubt, then one will wield the light of truth against your blasphemy. Okay, then. I guess Shelda's gonna go check out those shrines. Uh, meanwhile, I gotta go take a look at all the ruins around here. There's so much ancient history to uncover. I'm giddy just thinking about it. I am fascinated by this shrink spice and its effects on snack matter. If I can determine exactly what it's made of, I'm certain we will have much use for it. All right, bros. I know I'm not a scientist, but I got a hypothesis. If this island can make Big Bunger, can it make Big Chandlo? That's not what a hypothesis is. Honestly, what does my brother see in you? Oh, hush. I'm sure it's worth a try. Well then, let's get to it.
Goodness, you're here. I'd say it's high time we get to exploring. I see another maze blocking the way deeper into the jungle. I bet if we solve it, we'll find something real exciting. I'll go ahead and make my way over to the maze. Meet me there when you're ready for some puzzling. <laughs> like this is as far as I can go. I wonder if there's a way to get rid of this wall. with a giant rolling ball.
nice to be away from the others for a minute. The arguing can be, uh, distracting, you know? Oh, well, I think Shelda's got a lot to teach us. It's just exhausting to get a real answer out of her. Then she can be, uh, tad judgmental. Gosh, I don't know. I feel like I ought to be taking more of a leadership role out here. But I do all my best work when I'm alone. <clears throat> but why talk about all that unpleasantness when we could be neck deep in some dusty corpses? <laughs> the maze is right there. <laughs>
Woohoo! We hit the archaeological jackpot! Oh, oh. Let's go inside, scan around, and see just what kind of ruin this is. <laughs> Judging by what we've seen, I'd say this was a communal living space. One of the few that wasn't utterly destroyed anyway. And gosh, technology and culture are so much more advanced than what we've seen so far. This city must have been the center of Stone Grumpus society. And at the very center, the temple, possibly led by a priestess of Mother Nature. Hmm, that's a great question. There's definitely easier ways to lock a door. <laughs> but seeing as this was the height of their craftsmanship, it's possible they built those mazes just to show off. I don't know too much, but I'll say it's one of the world's oldest practicing religions. I'm sure Shelda could tell you more about it, but on that subject, it's odd I never saw hide nor hair of Mother Nature A back on Snacktooth. It's possible she showed up relatively late in their culture, adding to the existing worship of bug snacks. Oh, I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> never look a gift temple in the gateway, as Grandma used to say. Oh, I'll meet you by the entrance, yeah? <laughs> Remind me to ask Snorpy for one of those grapplers.
Chocolate, 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 chocolate. Chaco, chocolate, chac. Jet orb, jet orb, jet orb.
Millie, 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 Up here at a nice safe distance. Anywho, there should be a mechanism here that'll get us through that door. Might be a bit of a jog though. Architects were definitely showing off. But you know, this ludicrously complex maze tells me that whatever's in the temple beyond is just that important. So you know the drill. Let's get to solving. <laughs>
not to just jump in and do it myself. Anywho, the way is open, so let's get going. <laughs> hmm. Well, that's a kick in the teeth. So much for seeing the temple. Judging by the bodies, this collapse must have happened when folks were still living here. Maybe the crater is connected somehow. Come to think think of it, we didn't find a single corpse back in the commune. Where'd all those grumpuses get to? Well then, I'm not about to let this mystery go unsolved. I've just got to roll up my sleeves and clear this rubble myself. Oh no, no, we don't need to trouble everybody with all this. I know my way around ruins. I'll be just fine on my own. You just leave this to me. Go on about your day, and I'll have it done in a jiff, okay?
Chaco, chocolate, chocolate.
not going too good. I'm starting to worry I might never see the inside of this temple. Oh, I was afraid you'd say that. Sure, teamwork would really help out here, but those grumps can't go more than an hour without starting a big fight, and I, uh, I just freeze up. You know, I'm an expert in my field and all, but I'm not a management type. It's better if I just concentrate on my work and let them cool off on their own. To be honest, no, I don't. These kind of spats, they just fester and grow. And before you know it, civilization collapses. Look, some folks just don't get along. Some mysteries just go unsolved. There's nothing I can really do about it. But at least we gave it a shot. I'll see you back at camp. This shrinking spice intrigues me. What substance could produce such a pronounced effect on bug snacks? From what I observe, it was manufactured by ancient grumpuses, so surely it'll be simple to recreate. Oh, please, bring an ancient grumpus to the present and they'd be utterly lost. Anything they can do, I can do fundamentally better. Frivolities aside, I require a sample of shrink spice for study. Bring a specimen here and place it into my trough. this substance becomes quite volatile when removed from its origin. A flaw in its design, perhaps. How troublesome. 
I may need to employ a more didact method of study. By which I mean, bring another sample here and throw it at me before it combusts. I am wearing goggles, aren't I? <laughs> Since the spice causes no apparent harm to bog snacks, I am reasonably certain that I will be fine. They do nothing! <coughs> if you couldn't tell, <laughs> that was rather unpleasant. <coughs> However, having experienced that, I have learned two very important facts. One, the substance does not work on grumpuses. Two, I should not do that again. I am no closer to obtaining a usable sample of shrink spice. However, I believe we may learn something from the local bug snacks. Use the shrink spice to capture one chedorb and one milimochi. Then transform me with those specimens. <laughs> oh, neat. <clears throat> Intriguing. Ah, decently competent work. Unfortunately, any remnants of the spice seem to have been digested, but this too yields interesting results. In their shrunken state, the bug snacks here are not fundamentally different from those on Snack Tooth proper. It will be simple. I am merely exhausting every avenue of study. It's called being thorough. Look it up. Now, I've observed chocolates capable of maintaining a small size. This may present a more stable vessel for the spice. Regrettably, I must not eat it, delicious though it may be. So bring one to my science trough, please. <laughs> At last, a viable sample. Now I can extract the powder and finally put this mystery to rest. This requires my utmost concentration, and you ask far too many questions. You may return when I've found my answer. <laughs>
blast it all. I do not need your distractions. I've obtained dried particles of plant slurry, but I have no way to analyze them. It's like living in the Stone Age out here. Perhaps if I had a particle separator, an electron microscope, and a degree in botany... Mm, bah! Plants are not my area of expertise. You cannot be serious! I would sooner eat my bow tie than listen to a word of Shelda's advice. Afraid? I simply do not want to waste my valuable time being lectured on archaic moral dichotomies! Yes, I admit that I am frustrated. Under normal circumstances, I could do this without assistance. <sighs> Very well. Since you clearly won't stop pestering me about this, let us go see Shelda. One senses the reek of a foul presence. Cease your hostilities, Shelda. I am here on business. I've been informed that you may possess a rudimentary understanding of phytochemical reactions, which I am in need of. <gasps> Strike the stars from the sky! The Wicked One has come to me for guidance. But surely one's ancient ways are far too primitive compared to the miracles of modern science. I do not appreciate your sarcasm. If you do not wish to help me, then simply say so and be gone with you. One would never. It is one's path to offer guidance to all who seek it, no matter how undeserving they may be. Very well. Then I require an analysis of the shrink spice. Tell me what is in it, and be quick about it. Please. Hmm, ah, yes. A poultice made in the herbological traditions of the mother. <laughs> Though its purpose I cannot condone. If that is what you desire, then one will enter the olfactory realm to find the answers you seek. What? Don't sniff. I know that. <sighs> ah, so many subtle aromas. Witch hazel? Cinnamon? Ah, black tea? Each a natural remedy for inflammation. And among these astringents... <coughs> Oil of vitriol. Oil of vitriol? That's sulfuric acid. A common but powerful desiccant. That certainly explains the burning sensation. Floofty, did you tell the journalist to throw acid at you? Well, this has been surprisingly not a waste of time. I am going to leave now. I may call on your services again. And you're welcome. Bro, I gotta see if eating these big bug snacks will make me Big Chandlo. I saw this huge snack lifting stuff near the river. Big? Lifting? You know I gotta get me some of that! I can feel the lifting energy inside me. But I didn't get bigger at all. I guess I didn't get huge eating that big bunger either. You know what, bro? I'm just gonna admit to myself that it's not gonna work and move on. Guess that means my investigation's over already. What do I do now? Relax, huh? I guess it's been a while since I just chilled. I've been so busy fixing up Snacksburg, training, life coaching, and, you know, I've always got to take care of Snorpy. What the grump? Let's hang! We ought to shoot some hoops! All right! Hoops, 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 hoops! <laughs> you know the rules, dog. We're gonna take turns shooting hoops. First one to make five baskets wins. Go ahead and shoot your first shot.
you got one point. My turn. <laughs> nice one point. My turn. <laughs> Grump, I missed. That's two points for you, bro. My turn. <laughs> Grump, I missed. Three points, dog. My turn. <laughs> Grump, I missed. My turn! <laughs> Grump, I missed! You got four points! My turn! <laughs> Two points for me! My turn. I got three points. My turn. Ha, ah, four points for the Chan Man. My turn! <laughs> and swish! Five points, ten low! And that's the game! Don't feel bad, bro. I'm sure you'll crush it next time. Thanks for playing with me, bro. Now that we're done hanging, I gotta get back to Snacksburg. I gotta go check on Snorpy. You sure about that, dog? One time, I saw Snorpy lose a fight with a crapple, but that's not the point. Oh, bro, I'm gonna be real with you. This is the longest I've been away from Snorpy in years, and he's not okay without me. How about this? I'm gonna need some big energy for the trip back. You get me two of the biggest, strongest bug snacks on this island, and I'll stick around till I'm fueled up. Whoa! Oh, bro. I think I ate too much. So good, though. No regrets! Oh. Oh, hey, while you were out there, I've been thinking. Before I go, I need some major guidance. Normally, there's stuff I can't talk about because Snorpy's always listening in. So, if not now, when? All right, Sheldon's waiting. <laughs> hey, Sheldog, can I get some of your wisdom? Always, my child. I'm worried about Snorpy. <sighs> Once more shall you be reminded. Snorpy is safer than we, Chanlo. Ease your burden. That's... 
That's not what I mean. I'm worried about the way he's been. All the paranoid stuff, the anxiety. I thought bringing Snorpy out here, out into nature, it might mellow him out. Flush all the bad vibes out of his system. But it's only gotten worse. I've known Snorpy all my life, but it feels like he's getting further away from me and, and I just don't know what to do. Uh, Wong must, in the path of the mother, no, uh, hold on. One does not want one's words to be misinterpreted when one says, that boy needs therapy. Well, yeah, yeah, for sure. And I'm trying to do that. I make sure he's safe, I listen to his problems, I try to help him feel valid, all that stuff. Chandlo, you are strong and wise and wonderful, and you can do everything to support him. But you cannot fix him. Understand? Snorpy is lost in a maze of his own making, and it will take a professional to help him escape. That's a lot to take in. I need to think about it. Thanks for your wisdom, Shelda. You'll thank me when you actually take my advice. Hey, bro. While I'm still out here, I want to talk to Triffany and Floofty, too. There's still more I gotta know, you know? Rematch? Dog, I'm always down to hoop. Let's go get our dunks on! You know the rules, dog. We're gonna take turns shooting hoops. First one to make five baskets wins. Go ahead and shoot your first shot. My turn! <laughs> Grump! I missed! You got one point! My turn! <laughs> nice! One point!
That's two points for you, bro. My turn. <laughs> two points for me. Three points, dog. My turn. <laughs> I got three points. I've got four points. My turn. Ha! <laughs> ah, four points for the Chan Man. Whoa, five points. You won, dog. I didn't know you were such a baller. We gotta have a rematch sometime. Oh, I suppose it was only a matter of time. Tell Chanlo I will be with him shortly. Are we here to speak ill of my brother? I will gladly go first. Complaint one of 294. No, no, that's not why I asked you here. But I do want to talk about Snorpy. He wasn't like this when we were kids, right? I mean, he wasn't always so on edge, was he? Snorpington has always had his imagination and his moral compass. But no, I suppose he's gotten markedly more distraught since our project's dissolution. What happened between you two? I mean, I heard some of it from him, but I always wanted to hear your side too. And Snorpy doesn't really like me talking to you. Oh, I'm aware. I have a pile of threatening letters to that effect. However, I will gladly take this opportunity to set the record straight. We were working together on a government-funded research project. Advanced prosthetics that are ten times stronger than an ordinary grumpus. But our dear Snorpington discovered that the government had less than savory plans for that technology. And despite my protestations, he tried to make those plans public knowledge. Well, yeah, I don't blame him. Even you got to admit, that's pretty jacked up, dog. Am I the world's only optimist? That technology would have saved lives. If it must either exist with some consequences or not exist at all, I think the choice is clear. Easy to say when you aren't the one living with the consequences. Yeah, <laughs> where did you come from? Shoo! <sighs> Unfortunately, Snorpington agreed with you. He tried to play whistleblower, but before he could make a sound, we were both fired. And after that, there was a campaign to slander both of us, to discredit any allegations he might still make. So, there really was a conspiracy against you two? <laughs> If you must call it that. But only the most boring sort with paperwork and lawsuits. Still, that means it's not all in his head. Don't mistake justification for reason. Snorpicton has moved well beyond the realities of our situation. All right, Flifty. Thanks for telling me all that. Mm, happy to have enlightened you. Honestly, I expected this conversation to involve more shouting and headlocks. No, not this time. We're cool. But hey, we should talk more often. And maybe I can show you how to headlock me! Perhaps. But for now, my work beckons. Oh! I'm happy to chat with Chan Lo. Let's meet by the campfire. What's going on, Chan Lo? Trifony, you know about history and, like, ancient societies and stuff. Shelda said Snorpy's lost in a maze of delusion. But what if it's not a delusion? What if there really is a Grumpinati? Well, I've done some research on my own, and uh, near as I can tell, there's no such thing. At least not in the way you see in the movies. There's no shadowy cabal secretly in control of the world. <laughs> Real conspiracies can happen. And heck, there was an old literary society called the Grumpinati. But aside from the name, it's not at all what Snorpy talks about. Are you sure? I mean, I've seen Snorpy's charts and they kind of make sense. Kinda is the important word here, though. Look, 
there are points of data on that chart that are real, but it's all those strings between them that are made up. No, those are real. We got them from Gramble. Oh, Chandlo, that's not, uh, what I... Up, 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 let it go, my child. Point is, Snorpy might be a talented engineer, but he's no historian, and he's certainly not immune to bias, you know? Yeah, I guess you're right. I hope you're right. Thanks for talking to me, Triff Dog. No problem. And if you ever want to know more about failed conspiracies throughout history, you know where to find me. Bro, I feel like there's a huge weight on top of me, and it's not the kind I can lift. Snorpy never would have come to Snack Tooth if I didn't push him into it. All I do now is make him exercise and ignore all the stuff I don't understand. Sheldon's right. I don't know enough to really help him. And thinking I do is only making it worse. I'm gonna stay here. Until everybody's ready anyway. I need some time to just think. Catch you later. One must see what lies within those supposed shrines to Mother Nature. Not shrines destroyed and forgotten, but one untouched by the ravages of time. One can see it up along the river's path. That is the place we must meet. Mercifully, the path is free of obstacles. One thanks you for your devotion. The path once more revealed, and yet no less treacherous. One's heart is filled with dread for the truths yet unknown within the River Shrine. Nevertheless, we must push forward. <laughs> Thanks for meeting me out here. I guess if it's just you and me, <laughs> I can keep it casual. Oh, the front entrance to this place looks too strenuous for these old bones. But I believe there's a side entrance into the shrine. When you find it, can you please open it for me?
Oh, this place. It's almost identical to the shrines I used to visit in my youth. But it's been twisted, corrupted. Here, Mother Nature is the bringer of bug snacks. The stories they passed down, the warnings about the toxin, they must have come from experience. Yes, the place where I learned about the beauty and wisdom of this world. I hear it's a parking lot now. <gasps> no, the mother is a purest light. Her ageless wisdom vastly predates these vile monstrosities. But her followers are a different story. No one starts life on the path. That's why we all need guidance. I grew up hearing stories about the dangers of Snacktooth Island, passed down through the oral tradition from those who survived it. Not that many did survive it. Just enough to give one very clear message. The toxin must not be consumed. Because it will lead to your doom. What doom, I, I do not know. The story's gotten frustratingly vague over time. I did! Every day at the top of my lungs! It's all of you who didn't listen. It wasn't really a raffle, I can tell you that. <sighs> Come with me to the crater. There's something else I want to see. <laughs> Yes, this is the place. In the stories, they call this island Broken Two. So the story goes, the toxin's influence grew so great and powerful that the sun itself went dark. And so Mother Nature unleashed her wrath on her errant followers, purging the toxin and sending everything to the depths of the ocean. Looks a lot like wrath to me. But that story never sat right with me. Destroying followers who stray? That isn't the mother I know. She's not the bringer of bug snacks either. The ancients can't even get their story straight. So what am I supposed to believe? If I can't rely on the wisdom of those past, then all that's left is my own experience. I need to meditate. Child, if you would do me a kindness. You see that egg, Lachelle? I need you to crack open three of them. This time it's not a metaphor.
I know that wasn't an easy task. Ah, bugs' necks are so often in the shape of unliving things, but somehow these shells are just shells. They're also the only good source of calcium on this island. <laughs> Don't judge me. I'm fighting osteoporosis. Ah, anyway, I've centered my thoughts. I want to know for myself what bug snacks are, whether they're of the mother or not. I'm going to need that big old nasty flying bug snap. Please, bring it to the box of purity when you get the chance. <laughs> Thank you. I swear I'm not going to eat it this time. Nay, for I seek the very essence of bug snacks. That spirit which drives them to create their poisonous delights. Unfortunately, I have no grumpin' clue how to do that. <gasps> Floofty? Are you out of your grumping mind? One would never consult with that wicked alchemist. Yes, one wants to learn, not to receive long-winded insults. But, one must admit, when it comes to delving into the Forbidden, there is none more bold than Floofty. Oh, well, if that is how it must be, then may the Mother protect me. Ah, Childa, you seem to be dangerously close to my personal space. If you're here to trap me in a spell circle again, I will inform you that I could leave at any time and I was merely acting. Temper your contemptuous heart. One is here on a quest for understanding, to unlock the forbidden knowledge of bug snacks. Oh, and you've come to me. Why don't you ask your mother naturally? Or Crystal, or whatever you talk to. The path is shrouded at the moment. One believes that clearing this impasse requires a more scientific lens. How interesting. Are you certain? I'm given to understand that I exude a fetid aura of utter evil from every pore. You are reckless and arrogant and so, so rude. But one does not truly believe that you are evil. <laughs> well, I have little time nor patience for your games. If you want to know something, stop speaking like a horoscope and ask. Ugh. I want to know the essence of bug snacks. What is it they're made of? 
If I can understand that, then I might know whether they're actually separate from Mother Nature, or born from the darkness of her history. I'm not about to resolve your philosophical quandaries. There is no answer to the why of the universe. Bug snacks simply exist. However, since you've finally taken an interest in my studies, then just this once I will educate you. I can show you how to extract live snack matter for microscopic viewing without that matter denaturing. Ah, but if I were to explain it to a very small infant, denaturing is... I know what denaturing means. You do? I'm here to learn about bug snacks, not vocabulary. Ah, uh -huh. very well then. Our lesson should proceed smoothly. Step one of seventeen. Preparing an adequate formalin solution. Thank you for encouraging this old lady to learn something new. Now you better leave us to it. I sense this may take a while. Nice. Well, if that's the case, then I'm going to go gather everybody up so we can share what we all learned. This might be a long meeting, so let me know if you've still got some business to do. Fantastic. All right, everybody. Team meeting. Thanks for meeting everybody. It seems like we've all had an interesting time so far, ya? Yeah? Indeed. I must say I'm eager to see what grisly curiosities you found in your studies, Professor. Oh, ah, uh, I better not go first. I'm sure I'll just ramble on all night. <laughs> say, Chandlo, did you ever find a way to get bigger? Not physically, nah. But I did grow in, like, a metaphorical way. Sorry I couldn't help more with the science. Do not apologize, child. Knowing oneself is the most valuable kind of knowing. Hmm. Huh. And, Shelga, what did you find out about Mother Nature? A? With some <clears throat> additional insight, one has learned that bug snacks are indeed children of the mother. Yet, Toxins still, just as every fang dripping with venom, every flower glistening with poisonous sap. A reminder that nature can be very unkind. Grump, yeah? Nature's hardcore! Ah, uh, like some. The ancients may have worshipped the mother, but her light was lost on them. The tooth remains broken. And one believes that this was not the work of the Divine. The truth of its destruction and rebirth remains shrouded. That is so interesting! Oh, I swear, we've got to talk about history soon, Shelda. But first, let us discuss my findings. With some <clears throat> minor assistance, I was able to reproduce the newly discovered shrink spice. After some experimenting, I've learned that these big bug snacks are actually small by default. Something about the snack matter on this island causes them to enlarge. I believe I understand the how, but I've yet to discover the why. There is no why, Flufty. Things simply are. Using my words against me. Invent your own wisdom, you sagacious charlatan. I would, if you ever listened to anybody but yourself. Oh, please, let's not start. <laughs> <laughs> What's uh, happening now? Ha, oh, you missed it, Drift Dog. Floofty and Shelda teamed up to brain slam this mystery. They, they have? Shocking, I know. The things I do for science. Yes, the path is ever winding. But one apologizes for the distraction as it is time to feast on the fruits of the historian's knowledge. Oh, well, hmm, I, I've certainly learned a lot, but there are still plenty of mysteries abound. 
And I think it's possible we'll find all the answers inside the temple. Unfortunately, there's a bit of a collapsed hallway there, and I've got no way to get through. I believe we may have a solution for that. My combined research with Shelda has produced something quite useful indeed. Oh, yeah! Floofty asked me to build Don't a- Don't ruin the surprise. Trust me, it will be very entertaining. A more ominous sentence has never been uttered. Well, that all sounds good to me. Let's head to the temple. Well, there it is. Think you can do something about this debris? No problem, Triff Dog. Floofty, let's get the thing ready. Of course, the thing. You, place your buggy ball on the ground in front of us. <laughs> Good. Now turn around. And no peeking. We wouldn't want to ruin the surprise, would we? All right. I've got it out of the ball. Slippery little thing. Keep it still or the needle will... Ow! What the grump is that stuff? You'll live. There we go. And... <laughs> You may now turn around. All right, bro. Feast your eyes on the new and improved Big Buggy Ball! I wanted to call it the Engorged Strabiform Orbacula Encasement, but we can't always get what we want. With this much snack power, we can tear down that wall! Everybody. Problem solved. You are all very welcome. Oh, yeah! Big Strabby! Center yourself, Chandlo. This is not a creation to be celebrated, but to be feared. Yeah, but we did do pretty good, huh? Ooh, I could ask a million questions about how that works. But first things first, let's poke around in these ruins. That's an understatement. <laughs> I told you that the Stone Grumps did ritual sacrifice, yeah? Well, this was the place. They'd throw Grumpuses down that pit, offering them up to whew, whatever's down there. Hmm. Is that why the bug snacks here get so big? Because the soil's been uniquely fertilized? I found this machine thing buried here. Kinda reminds me of Snorpy's lunch pads. 
Indeed, yet large enough to belong to something of significant size. In fact, it seems to be perfectly suited for the big monkey ball. I believe an experiment is in order. <laughs> Sprout got locked in there! Uh, now what? Hmm, there seems to be a triggering mechanism on the back. It may require a jolt from the snack grappler to activate. Oh, that can't be a good sign! What did you all do? from the sealed pit! Ready yourselves! A grave danger approaches! Bros, I get the feeling I'm about to get dunked on again! Oh, 
Everybody's okay. Phew! Good to see we're all in one piece. That was the biggest snack I've ever seen. Nothing like a giant monster fight to get the blood pumping. <laughs> Speak for yourself. One is far too old for this. Agreed. But now that the danger is past, I'd like to revisit what precisely all of this means. You know, judging by the temple roof, the collapses... Mm, the crater... I mean, it's just a thought. But I think, ages ago, something big came out of that pit. Well, yeah. 
We just saw the Cheddar Bortle come out of there! Huh. If the Cheddar Bortle could be handled by one mediocre journalist, I doubt it could destroy an entire civilization. Yeah, I'm thinking much bigger and much nastier. Something we can hardly even imagine. The wrath of Mother Nature, Or perhaps the wrath of those sacrificed. Amusing as this grisly history is, none of that explains why the island suddenly rose from the sea. Maybe it wanted to be found. Our islands don't generally want things, Chandler. Unless those lost and vengeful lie dormant still beneath our feet. You know, I think I've learned all I can for now. What say we call it quits today? For our own good. All yes. right, sounds good to me. Okay, so, do you want to come back to the raft with us or keep exploring? Wonderful! And on the way, I'll regale you with stories about other temple collapses. Dog! Chandler, my l- <coughs> um, <laughs> You're in one piece. <laughs> and I mean, of course you are. I had the utmost faith in you. Oh, please. You were likely in tears the entire time. I was not! <laughs> Triffany, what in the world did you find out there? Oh, gosh. That's a long story. I kind of want to get home to Wamby first, if you don't mind. But, uh, let's meet up in town, and I'll tell you the details over some snack waters, yeah? Yes, let's! Ah, and Shelda's alive and well? Yeah, my joints are killing me. <laughs> but sure, I, uh, uh, one must meditate with a tincture of willow and cloves. Uh, if you inform me of the recipe, I could find a way to augment the effects. Consider this an effort to be less deliberately antagonistic towards you. Uh, thanks, I guess. Floofties being helpful? Seriously, Chandler, what happened over there? Grumpinati mind control? I don't know. We're just finding ourselves out here, Snorp Dog. And, uh, speaking of that, Snorpy, I'm sorry for making you come to Snack Tooth. Oh, well, well, that's all right. It may not be my favorite place, but, but I know you're just doing what you think is best. Yeah, that's the problem. Well, you sound like you've got something weighing on your mind. Yeah, I do. But I think it can wait. Let's just go home and chill, okay? Ah, ah well, well, I'm nothing if not chill. Thanks for everything, dog. We'll see you back at Snacksburg!
What's up, dog? Hey, how's the journey? Hey, you pal.
Hubble. Everything okay? Yeah! Gramble? Yeah, hi. Oh, <laughs>
How's it going? Bro. Whoa. Bro.
Here comes the Chandlo Slam! <laughs> Distract the mama. You get the drop on her. Mama, 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 Oh, my God. 
Okay. Oh? Uh, right, right. Uh, you are a journalist after all. Honestly, I'm nothing special, but if you really want to know more about me, I'll answer your questions. <laughs> Dr. Egabel Batternugget, M.D. Well, in school, I focused on endocrinology, but the clinic I worked at was so small. In practice, I wound up doing family medicine. Come on, you know why. <sighs> Lisbert said I didn't have to come, that she'd be back to see me whenever she could, but I wasn't going to let myself get left behind. They're a perfectly balanced source of nutrition with upsetting side effects that are otherwise harmless. They make me feel like, for a little while, nothing else in the world matters. 
that can be nice sometimes. Wait, you're allergic to bug snacks? What have you been eating all this time? Uh, okay, good. It's not the healthiest diet long term, but Gramble and Shelda are doing all right. Mm, I'll give you a checkup once we've brought Liz back home. We've covered that already. <laughs> I know everything about Liz, but somehow she's still a mystery to me. It's been like that since day one. I was working at my clinic in the middle of nowhere, thinking about how, once again, I didn't have any plans for the weekend. When Elizabeth Megafig literally kicked down my door and immediately passed out. Her injuries were pretty serious. Bone fractures, full body contusions, and way less blood than she ought to have. When she was conscious again, she told me all about her adventures. The ruin collapse that nearly killed her. The treasure of Grumsylvania. Everything. The second she could walk, Liz tried going right back to those ruins. I couldn't stop her, so I decided to go with her. Just to make sure she'd be okay. And one amazing adventure later, I quit my job and left town with the love of my life. Oh, we're done? Well, thanks for keeping me company. Hey, uh, you know how to use the projector, right? Here, take this. It's nice to look back on the good times once in a while, and I think you'd like to see it. Well, I'll, I'll get back to it. Stay safe out there.
Uh, thanks for the help. Okay. Oh, my God. 
Uh, thanks for the help. Bro.
aren't you an intrepid little journalist? Coming into this secret hideaway just to ask questions of the first stranger you see? Hmm. I do respect the pursuit of knowledge, and I have been down here for way too long. <laughs> Go ahead. Question me if you dare. I am Alexander Jamfoot, junior archivist and crypto snackological researcher. That is my passion, anyway. I am also a part time barista. I was sent here by my organization to monitor this triangular relic. A position of honor, I was told. But I hold no illusions. This is a punishment. In my time isolated here, I have learned more than any snackolite before me. With the secrets I have unlocked, the discovery of the three queens, I could rise to the upper echelons of the organization. Yes, I will be well rewarded, ideally with a weekly stipend. Or maybe even, um, health care? Even not having to pay membership dues would be, you know, pretty good. This place is a temple of sorts, but even I don't understand its true purpose. The ones who built it are lost far beneath the ocean. The organization uses it as a break room.
queen was wrathful. When she awakened, she wreaked terrible vengeance on those who had sacrificed her to the bug snacks. The second queen was benevolent. Through her guidance, the bug snacks were pacified, and the Snack Tooth Empire flourished for centuries. But as all empires do, it grew beyond her control. The third queen will be one of ours. Hopefully, with her power, we will usher in an age of peace and prosperity. Ideally, before my student loans are due. Snackalites, scholars and sailors descended from the remnants of Grumpbeard's final voyage. We are the keepers of Snacktooth's secrets, protectors against the threat of bug snacks until such a time that they can be brought under our control. made-up movie nonsense. I mean, sometimes our actions are blamed on the Grumpinati. But we're a secret society. We can't just go around correcting everybody. Watching your expedition with great interest. I don't get radio out here, so you know, most entertainment I've had all year. I'm afraid that Brana Kalata Blog has gone somewhere that you should not follow.
foremost among them, a degree in library sciences. Look, there weren't many jobs out there, and I found an internship in a magazine ad. <sighs> Unpaid, as it turns out. Welcome to the Snacklelites. Well, wasn't that fun? <laughs> I will be taking your recordings now. Oh, don't look so shocked. Surely you understand I can't let any of this become public knowledge. As for what happens to you, well, I believe the Snackalites could use someone with your investigative talents. And I, of course, could really use a recruitment bonus.
corner. How you doing? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 
Yeah. <laughs> 
Nice to see ya. Hi. What are you looking at?
Hubba hubba. <coughs> <coughs> Hubba hubba. How you doing?
Tiffany, what's going on? Yeah. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Wambus. Hey, how's it going? Hey, pal. What's going on, Wiggle? Here. 
Which direction does Lisbeth face when sleeping, and does she keep her eyes open? Or, uh, you would have to ask Liz? But Lisbeth's gone, dog! We can't wait for her to come back! We need a decision now! Sounds like a job for Bilbo! I think Liz would want a place close to everybody. Chanlo, Snorpy, we're gonna put Liz and Egg's house right at the heart of town. We are, are we? And who exactly put you in charge? Uh, Lizbert did? Um, weren't, weren't you at the meeting? Hmm, I don't recall that part. Everybody keeps forgetting that I'm kinda in charge. There's gotta be some way I can remind them. I'm sure you'll think of something. Oh, speaking of my mayoral duties, I've been trying to come up with a name for our town. What do you think of Lisbertalia? Absolutely not! <laughs> Even I have to admit that's a little too Liz-centric. This place belongs to all of us. Oh, okay, yeah, good point, good point. Uh, so, what's something we all have in common? Well, we all like bug snacks, right? Of course! So, uh, something food-related, like, uh, Yumville, uh, Picnic Place, uh, Foodburg, Nackington Square, the Hamlet of Eatsdale, Flavor Town! I kind of like Foodburg, and Snackington's good, but a little too fancy. <laughs> what about Snacksburg? Snacksburg! I like it! And it does have a certain rustic charm. Then it's settled. As mayor, I hereby declare that our home will be named Snacksburg! Yo, Bilbo! Don't we need to vote? This is a democracy, dog! Oh, uh, right. <clears throat> then as mayor, I hereby declare that we will hold a referendum on whether to name our new home Snacksburg. Hooray! <laughs> I'm back in town after a narrow escape from a pack of vicious bug snacks. Just in time for a gorgeous doctor to treat my grievous wound. Well, this gorgeous doctor thinks you're an idiot. Oh, well that stings. And after I face those snacks just for you. Don't joke around. I don't want you taking risks to impress me. But you are impressed, yes? Oh, 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 oh. You're lucky it's such a shallow cut. And stop squirming around or I'll have to restrain you. Hiccupville? <laughs> Not while the camera is on. Trying to look strong for your audience? <clears throat> so, how's it look, Bill? Think I'll be up and hunting soon? No, you need to stay a while, Liz. Aw, Hiccupville, you miss me that much? I just want you in peak hunting condition. <laughs> oh, speaking of, you haven't seen the haul from my latest excursion. Ooh, did you bring me something good? You tell me. It's a brand new snack, and you'll be the first to try it. Oh, Liz, you spoil me. Surprise! I'm back early! And have I got a story for you! Bill, you're okay. It's not true. You're just having one of those days. Every day is one of those days. Did something happen? Everything happened. Tiffany broke her leg. Gramble got food poisoning. I couldn't help both of them. Everybody was shouting at me. I didn't know what to do. It's none of that's your fault. What's the point if I can't help anybody? I just... Sit here all day while everybody else is out there, all productive and happy. That's not true. You help me all the time. 
Like when I cut my pool. You only got hurt because you were getting snacks from me. It'd be fine if I wasn't around. Don't say that. I need you, Bill. You were there when the world was laughing at me. You were there for me during the worst days of my life. I'm here for you, too. The world can suck an egg. I know what'll make you feel better. Yeah, thanks, Liz. I'd fall to pieces without you. Scoping my form? Egg? Uh, eight. Uh, uh, hey, Inga bro. Good workout today. Let's hit the showers. No. This is pathetic. I won't break yet. Oh, that's hard boiled, Egg. Who lit a fire under you? I just need to get strong enough to catch my own bug snacks. No disrespect, but. Hitting the snacks pretty hard already. Aw, not you too. No, no. I'm saying you aren't doing this for snacks alone. I can't help you if you're not honest with me. I'm just so sick of feeling like an empty shell. I want to stop relying on everybody else. I want to keep up with Liz for once in my life. Respect. I know things are tough with Liz right now. But dog, she loves you. You two will be back to normal in no time. But I don't want to go back to normal. I don't want her worrying about me anymore. <laughs> when you love somebody, you never stop worrying about them. I know. And I'm worried about her, too. I just want to take better care of her. And that starts with me. Yeah, I get that. I will get you back. Thanks, Chamlo. And, uh... Maybe I'll hit the showers after all. I smell rotten. Okay, let her fly, and I'll show you my incredible aim. Just try not to hit Philbo again. When you're finished with your amusements, come see me. We have work to do. Get out of here, floofy. You're ruining my shot. What's wrong? There's something off about that grumpus. Lufty's not so bad. They're just passionate about science. Sure. Science. I heard about their experiments. Messing with your body. It's weird. What's weird about it? I mean, look at you. How many bug snacks have you had? Hey, in my professional medical opinion, I am perfectly healthy. We're all eating bug snacks, and we're all fine. So why are you getting on my case? I'm just worried, Bill. You're not acting like yourself. You mean I'm not miserable. I found a way to make myself useful and happy to finally take some control over my life. And you're just upset because it doesn't involve you. I'm not upset. If you don't need me anymore, that's great. Go be with Floofty. Maybe I will. Today is the day I, Elizabeth Megafig, solved the greatest mystery of this island. I found a door near the frosted peak. What could be behind it, I wonder? <sighs> Wait for me, Liz! Bill? What are you doing out here? Following you. Did you want to come with me? I thought it might be fun to hunt bug snacks together. I... If that's all right with you. That'd be amazing. But maybe not today. This peak isn't for beginners. I've been practicing. I got Chalo to show me the ropes, bro. Ugh. <laughs> Very impressive. I didn't know you were working out. I guess it's hard to see my muscles under the bug snacks. You really are changing, Bill. I'm sorry I was being so selfish. It's okay. I don't want apologies, worrying, any of it. I just want us to be together. And to see how much you're exaggerating about your dangerous work. <laughs> oh, really? 
think it'll be a walk in the park, huh? That's right. And I bet I can even catch more book snacks than you. Woohoo! You're on. But be careful. Nothing like a campfire. Chicken, chicken, chicken. Bunger, 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 bunger. Bunger, bunger, bung, bung, bung. Thank <laughs> you. 
Picardies! 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 Picardies!
Hey, how's the journey? Ch 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 Ten, 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 ten,
How's it hanging? Yes, yes, hello. Um.
Well, hello. No. No.
Sando, Sando. Okay. Oh. <laughs> 
Hey! Hi, Wambus! Hey, how's it going? A wiggle, 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 wiggle. Hi. How's it hanging?
Wow, it's getting crowded around here. I can't believe it. We gotta celebrate big time. This party's gonna change everything, buddy. Are you sure you're ready? This is awesome! But it'll be even more awesome once everybody's on the dance floor! 
One who is me has foreseen. The path to enlightenment is not walked with the feet. It is a journey taken with the mind. I understand your wisdom, O oh Great Shelda. You're saying I should chug this snack water upside down, dog! Yes! How's the party treating you, Beth? Hmm, I've seen worse. Yeah, it's really coming together. It's nice to see everybody getting along. <sighs> Listen, Philbo, I appreciate what you're doing, like getting everybody here. It's way less boring now. But these grumps aren't friends. They're just making nice because it's better than being alone. Sure, but who wants to be alone? <laughs> <laughs> you're such a squeeb, but like in a good way. Aww. Thanks. <laughs> I'm gonna hit the dance floor. Hope I see you there. <laughs> There's a party in my mouth and I'm invited. I give this party seven out of 10, which is pretty good, I guess, for Philbo. Me? Dance? I don't think this party could handle it. Besides, this isn't really my song. Woo! OMG, they're playing my song! I'm gonna show them what a real party looks like. Snack water! Get your snack water here! Fresh, organic, cruelty f light! What are you kidding? That is business to be done here. I'm not leaving this stand till I get some of these grumps to loosen up. Oh yeah, uh-huh. A heart enraptured is mine. So it is! <gasps> One tears up the dance floor. Boogie boogie! Woohoo! Woo! So the osteoblast says, looks like the two of us are really boned. <laughs> <laughs> really boned? <laughs> Yeah, Trophy, you're such a treasure. Yeah! <clears throat> Much obliged, stranger. I better talk to Grambo before I lose my nerve. This party's a real hoot. Oh, gosh, I don't know. I got two left feet. Wouldn't you rather hear about the captivating history of dance? I owe you an apology, brother. My earlier insults were unnecessary. Your inventions are quite valuable in capturing research samples, and I appreciate that about you. Your apology is as lacking as your ethical standards, but it's a start. Excellent. Now that we are reconciled, I have a dozen research papers that could use peer review. As you seem to have free time right now, let us begin. And I take it all back. You're interrupting personal business. Unless you have something intelligent to say, be gone. Rhythmic gyration has no purpose. Rhythmic gyration has no purpose. Oh yeah, uh-huh. Oh! I bet Floofty will want to learn all about the Desert Empire's dance of certain death. Oh! 
so you see, the desert dance mirrors the moves for hand-to-hand -hand combat against bug snacks. Thus, the youth were tricked into learning. Fascinating. Hiding purpose and frivolous waste. I will make use of this principle. Oh, you believe it when she says it. Trifony has convinced me of the historic and cultural value of expressive movement. Perhaps I should experiment. Phew! I'm all talked out. Makes me want to shake my tailbone. Be at ease. The party lights double as a wave inhibitor. This party is secure. My chance has arrived. Don't blow it, Fizzlebean. I'm having fun. Ahem. <clears throat> Chandlo, I, I... We've been together for so long, and I've always wondered how you feel about me. Do... Do you want to be my boyfriend? What? Bro, that doesn't make any sense. Oh, I see. Y yes, never mind. F forget what I said. Snorpy, we've been dating for years. W wait, what? How is that possible? Dude... Remember that time we made out on that Ferris wheel and I said we should move in together? Uh, well, well, yes, I, I just thought that we were roommates with benefits. You know I hate ambiguity. Sorry, Snorp Dog. Is that clear enough for you? <laughs> I love you, dog. Now let's dance! Now, I don't want any trouble, Wambus. Gramble, I'm sorry. I've been rude to you, and even worse to your little ones. You... you're serious? No fooling? I don't tell jokes, Gramble. I am not creative. Oh, apology accepted! Of course, no forgiving is complete without a hug! No. But I suppose a dance couldn't hurt. Hmm. At last, beverage service. Now I can sing the night away. Oh! Woo! All right, em. Ah, right, that's enough work. Now it's time to work the dance floor. I didn't think they ain't but don't don't they. Oh, you see that? Busting a move. We did it, buddy. We're all together again. Well, almost all of us. Hmm. But you know what? Knowing Egabella's out there gives me hope that Lisbert is out there, too. I mean, none of this would have been possible without you, buddy. I know you have to go back for your job eventually, but... I'd sure miss you if you left. And, well, you still need to interview Lisbert, right? So... Our end is nigh! What? End? Well, is, is that a metaphor, or...? Are you okay, buddy? Uh, all right, I, I know this looks bad, but as long as we keep calm... Our doom approaches! Pray to your gods, children! 
It's the queen of bug snacks. She's rising from the depths to devour us all. The Grumpanati aim to silence us for good. Their machinations are coming to fruition. Now hold on. We're not going to die because of some cult or monster. That's right. We're going to die because the volcano's going off. That's right. Wait, what? Oh, bad timing. Suppose we're going to end up buried like all the others, eh? Come on, bro. We can survive this. As long as we got bug snacks, we'll be fine. My barn collapsed. All of my little ones escaped. Bummer. Whoa, 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 we're homeless and out of bug snacks? Oh, it's a grumpy grump world now. <laughs> uh, dibs on eating Philbo. Please do. I'm quite curious to see the result. Will Befica turn into Philbo or the bug snacks he's eaten? Hold on a moment while I retrieve my notes. Hey, 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 don't give up yet. We may not have homes or snacks, but we have each other. I know it's pretty scary right now, but we can't fall apart every single time something bad happens. We have to stick together. Well said, Philbo. Egabro? Egabro, you're all right. What a pleasant surprise. Welcome back, Dr. Batanugget. Uh, hey, everybody. Chandlo, Floofty, Mr. Troubleham. Doc. I'm glad you made it. Does that mean you figured it out? That's right, Philbo. I know how to get to Liz. That's amazing! We gotta go right away! Ooh, sorry to say it, but is now really the best time? This might be the only chance we get. Liz is in danger, and this disaster is only getting started. The worst is yet to come. So spills fall for toxin unending! Quiet, you! Doctor, you are only subjecting yourself to needless risk. Elizabeth is likely deceased. Dog, this bird is alive. And we're not going to leave her behind. I just need Philbo and, uh, Philbo's buddy. Sorry, Chandlo. Bummer. Well, what are the rest of us supposed to do while y'all were gone? You prepare for the worst. What do we need right now? Well, I'm sick of being in the dark, for one. I want to know what's out there. No worries, Beth. I'll build a couple bonfires, maybe a watchtower. Whatever's out there, we'll see it coming. But what do we do when the queen comes to devour us? Well, I have a few prototype traps that I could put to use. How about the more practical threats? You know, the earthquakes, the volcanoes, and what have you. Simple. We find a way to get off the ground if the need arises. Well, none of that matters if I starve to death. We got my sauce. <laughs> no way, pal. I ain't gonna chow down on that nasty plant goop. Mm. I stand corrected. No more concerns? Great. Let's get to it, then. <laughs> so it is that toxin. Uh, well, we're certainly doomed. I was right about that. I don't suppose you'd reconsider your stance on butt snacks, huh? Well, I don't necessarily agree. <laughs> hey, Agabo. After we get lit, Bert, are you two gonna come back to town? Oh, I don't know. I'm starting to like sleeping on freezing cold rocks. But I'm sure Liz misses her bed. Well, it'll be ready for ya. I've been keeping your hut clean for whenever you got back. <laughs> You're such a weird guy, Philbo. Mountain. Still. Do you need a break? Uh, how about water? Let me check your vitals. No, no, I'm okay. Besides, we're, we're almost there. Right. Right. But in the future, you could stand to do some exercise or, or just hang out with Chamlo. All right, 
We're here. Um, how do we get this thing open, Agabel? Turns out she wrote the order backwards. I guess even the great Elizabeth Megafig can still make mistakes. Well, nobody's nerfigged, right? <laughs> okay, I'm ready when you are. We're coming, Liz. One, two, three! Separated. Well, you found me pretty quick. I'm sure she's not far. Yuck! What is this stuff? Ugh, it's slimy and cold, and I, uh, I, uh, I kind of want to eat it. Uh, if Lizbert is really down here, we better find her fast. Let them through. Oh, Lisbert! It's you! You're alive! <laughs> Bilbo, you here. I I I I can't believe it! We've got so much catching up to do. I... I wish I could, but we're out of time. You have to get out of here. You have to gather up the others and get off the island. O okay, then we can talk on the way back. No, Philbo. I can't go with you like this. I'm so sorry. Are you seriously trying to interview me right now? I regret inviting you. You came here to interview Elizabeth Megafig? Fine. Keep it quick. This? This is the island's true form. It's bug snacks all the way down. That's kind of amazing. It's disgusting. Once you understand what bug snacks really are. They're parasites. They get inside you and they change you, your body and your mind. They make you want them. And before you know it, you become them. It's not that simple. They're insidious, patient. You'll show them a weakness and they'll exploit it. What you see here, this is what's left of everybody who came before us. Of every living thing that wasn't bug snacks. They always win. After I saved Degabel, I fell into this place. Before I knew what was happening, I was swarmed. Bug snacks were crawling down my throat. They tried to erase me, to make me into them. That's horrible. I almost lost myself. But somehow I pushed back. I made them into me. That's right. I'm sorry if I scared you. I just wanted to make everyone leave this awful place. But I can't make Bugsnecks talk. <sighs> no. The Bugsnecks are in a frenzy. They have been since we came here. They're so ravenous that they're shaking the ground apart. I'm the only thing keeping this island together right now. But it's like fighting a tsunami with a bucket. 
There. You have your answers. I hope you write a story worth telling. I'm sorry that I put you through so much to get it. I can't hold them back for much longer. Please, go and warn the others. Wait! I, I have one more question. If you're really not coming back, then... Then... What am I supposed to do without you? What do you mean? You've been doing just fine without me. It's only a matter of time before I screw up and ruin everything. I I'm not good at stuff, and everybody hates me. But you... They love you, Lisbert. <laughs> They love the idea of me. I'm sorry I put so much on your shoulders, Bilbo. But you, you are the one who can bring them together. Me? Well, I'm the one who made it all fall apart. What are you saying? I led you to this terrible island. I filled your bodies with parasites. I ignored all the warning signs. I didn't understand what any of you really needed. So now I'm taking responsibility for my mistakes. I'll keep the bug snacks at bay long enough for everyone to escape. Liz, no, 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 there has to be some other way we can help you. No, I should be the only one to suffer the consequences of my actions. Nobody else needs to get hurt because of me. Uh, where have I heard that before? Ichabel! You shouldn't be here. You need to get away. Get up. Get up. Come on. Let's go. Get up. Hey! Uh, ow! Oh, Egabel, stop it. No, you stop it. I didn't sleep in an igloo for months just so you could play martyr. We're getting out of here together. Uh, I... I can't. My control is already slipping. If I step outside this cave, my connection to the bug snacks will break and the island will collapse before I make it another step. Huh. All right. Then I'll get in there with you. Move over. Move over? It's not a car, Bill. See? That wasn't so hard, right? It worked! Egabel, you beautiful genius! <laughs> Wait, how did you lose your eye? Oh, I didn't. I just got conjunctivitis. At least the eye patch looks cool, right? Hmm, it does make you look a bit... dangerous. So, um, how long before the island explodes? Oh, <clears throat> I don't know. It could be any moment. But I'm sure Liz and I can keep it together, at least until you get everybody out of here. What? So now I'm supposed to leave both of you behind? Hey, don't worry about us. We've been through worse than this. Right? We both survived so much by ourselves. Imagine what we can do when we're together. Okay. Good luck. And I'll see you again someday. It's time to get moving. Get back to Snacksburg! I'm going to have to take a bit of a shortcut. Hold on! We've got to get back to Snacksburg as fast as we can. We can't let the others eat any more bug snacks. If they transform all the way, then who knows what'll happen? Oh, why did we feed them so many already? I just hope they can resist until we're all out of here. Snorpy! There they are. Where in Grump's name have you two been? I'll explain later. The bug snacks are coming to wipe us out. We gotta get off this island now! I suspected as much. Luckily, the balloon is almost ready to take flight. Great! But where is everybody? They're holding off the swarm as best they can. I've supplied them with all my most dangerous inventions, but that'll only buy us time. Snorp Dog! They're coming down from the mountain! I need you here! Now! 
Hold steady, my love. I'm on my way. Oh, but somebody needs to finish fueling the balloon. Don't worry, Snorpy. Leave the balloon to me. Go and help Chandlo. Splendid. And as for you, you may need my snack chop. It's much like the snack trap if it were set to, uh, uh, puree. Good luck. Okay, uh, this looks simple enough. <laughs> Never mind. Buddy, you better put that trap to good use. Oh, okay. I'll be fine for now, buddy. Go and help the others. I'll have the balloon ready by the time you get back. Stay still, you pugnacious pests! Gah, why did Snorperton make this so cumbersome? One has foreseen. The bug snacks will be five feet to the right of where you're aiming. I'm a scientist, not an exterminator. You do it if you're so inclined. One is strictly a pacifist. Also, one is pushing 70. Not enough. Ah, but here comes someone with a healthy capacity for violence. Take this device and clear a path for us, please. That's enough mortal danger for one day. Let's abscond while the bug snacks have subsided. You don't have to tell me twice. You, however, must continue. The others still need your help. Come on, Snacks! Let's see what you got! Uh, Chum, over here! I've just finished another device, the Trip Drone. With this, we can hold off the Bug Snacks and escape before Chandlo collapses. Don't worry, Snork Dog. I could do this all day! <sighs> oh, you beautiful fool. I'll pilot the drone, you aim the shot. Fortunately, we're short on connective surfaces. How about this? Helly oop! Uh, that'll do. Don't trip! <laughs> you got this, bro! Fine work, chum! <sighs> Relocating! Nothing but log! Take that, Grumpy Naughty! We crushed it, dog! I'm gonna give you the hug of your life! Don't celebrate too soon. We're not safe until we're off this horrid rock. To the balloon! Uh, you see anything yet? All this smoke is making my eyes water. Don't worry. If there's one thing I'm good at, it's looking for trouble. <laughs> Speaking of, snacks at three o'clock. You got it! Fire in the hole! 
Whoa, that toast! Who knew snack water was so flammable, huh? It's almost a shame to waste it like this. Oh, bestie, you're just in time for the end of the world. But now that you're here, if you take over the lunch pad, Cromdo can pick up the speed on those barrels. Can't you, Cromdo? Eh, sure thing, Beth. If I don't break my grumpin' back first. Another one for you. Here, take this. There you go. Bestie. We made it! Ha <laughs> ha! That means Snorpio owes me five bucks! Let's blow this popsicle stand, huh? <laughs> Darling, they love you so much that they they each want a piece of you. Even so, I can't bring myself to to hurt them. So why'd Snorpy have to go and weaponize Sprout? Ramble! I didn't know you were so punk rock. I'm not a punk or a rock. I I can't do this. Well, I know who can. Darling, I've got them all warmed up. It's time for you to bring the house down! Wow! over. My heart can't take much more of this. No time for an encore, Gramble, dear. We better boogie. <laughs> Come on now! Get! 
Get! Get your varmints! It's no use, Wambi. Must have learned a few things since the Stone Age. Well, what do you want me to do? I won't let them take my garden. There's hardly any garden left. There's enough. I still got my special sauce, fresh grown. Oh, good thinking. What? That's not what I meant. Oh, I didn't see you there. Would you mind helping out? Just a matter of life and death is all. That's about as big a break as we're gonna get. Come on, Wamby. It's now or never. Oh, I gave it my best. All right, Triffy. Let's go home. <laughs> Okay, we're all here. Though I think the balloon needs another minute. No, no. Ah, never mind. No, no, we gotta get no. on board now. No, no. Well, there goes another farm. Serves me right for building it on top of an island-sized pest. <laughs> I guess there's no shame in starting fresh. I'll find a place with rich soil, and even richer history, where me and Triffy can settle down. I was so close to giving up back there. I get so caught up dwelling on the way lives end. But that's not the only thing that matters, yeah? Wambus and I, we're gonna start the rest of our lives today. It's funny. I spent all my time chasing one muse. And as soon as I put it out of my mind, another strikes me. As we floated down from the sky, watching our home crumble to dust, a little song sprung into my head. I call it an ode to Gramble. I thought I'd be real sad when I left all my little ones behind. But I feel okay. I don't know, maybe it helps they try to murder me. But also... I got folks who love me back for real. Like, well, Wiggle. Oh, hey, bestie. I think I need a vacay from this vacay. Going home doesn't seem so bad anymore. My old life, my old friends, they're all gone. But like, now I know that I can make new friends. And this time, I won't ruin it for myself. Okay, I know when I'm beat. I draw the line at island full of monsters. <laughs> All I wanted to do was quit my dead-end job and do what makes me happy. I don't need some big bug snack scam to do that. Hey, maybe I'll get started in the music business. 
While I regret that all my research was destroyed, I have come away with a revelation. I cannot improve Grumpus Kind if I refuse to understand it. It may be a long and frankly annoying endeavor, but it is one worth pursuing. I've never felt so wrong being right. I wish I hadn't wasted so much time telling riddles. I don't need to be all-powerful to give good advice. I just need to be me. And those who listen will listen. Look at that mess. It seems my enemies aren't so all-powerful after all. But still, there were many close calls, and Chandler was always there for me. I think perhaps I could share everything with him. Bro, that was intense! There's no way I ever would have made it out of there by myself. Good thing Snorpy had my back. When did he get so strong? Maybe I hit my personal limit. But that doesn't matter. There's no limit to what we can do together. Hey, buddy. Are you ready to go? All right, everybody. We should head out. I hate leaving it like this. Liz and Egg, what if they're still out there? Yeah. If anybody can survive in that terrible place, it's them. No, you're right. Nobody should ever set foot on Snacktooth Island again. I know. I can't go wallowing in regret now. We're barely even out of the woods. It's gonna take a while for the bug snacks to wear off on us. I can't go back home like this, so... Is it alright if I stay with you for a while? I can help you with your story. Maybe figure out which parts to tell, or... Great. Let's go. I have to admit, you got guts. Tracking down Elizabeth inside an erupting volcano? It's compelling, dramatic, sensational. I'd call it fiction if you didn't have this Philippus Yahoo along as a witness. <laughs> it's Philbo, actually. Point is, you're a regular Grumpter S. Thompson. It's just too bad those bug snacks weren't real, huh? <laughs> yeah, too bad. <laughs> I, I, I hate to think that we went through all that for nothing, so... Um... I hope you can spread the truth about Snacktooth before anybody else gets hurt. Don't worry. GNN specializes in painful truths. And speaking of, you're fired. This story's a page-turner and all, but you lost your job the second you walked out that door. Oh, please. It's not like I expected you to come back. Also, you're legally dead. Might want to clear that up soon. That wasn't ideal, but you've had worse days, huh, buddy? So, I hear the elections are coming up, and, uh, I, I was thinking of running for mayor. I could use a helping paw. How about it?
Clumby, pick up. Somebody's been through my tapes, Clumby. The secret tapes in the secret place. They know. How could anybody even find them? That is such a violation of my privacy. It had to be them. Lisbert's crew. Flibbo, Tiffany, Wampus, whatever their names are. Well then, I have a task for you, Miss Clumbernut. Find out everything you can about these so-called survivors of Snacktooth. We'll see how they like it when I learn all of their secrets. So, yeah, call me back when you get this. This is Jamfoot, by the way. Okay, bye. Stabby!